motherfucker's beating me into the room. That's a uh, that's a new one. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Early motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Just tells Ooh. me I need to kill you quicker. Yes. What's up? Wait. What? <laughs> You'll oh. be all right. Don't worry. I'm totally not planning your demise. Here, I'm I'm gonna test something. Make sure I'm in the right chat. Yep. Okay. Cool. Since I can use the uh, green hag uh, encounter from yesterday's episode, quick run. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> Captain, you feel I feel like you don't believe that you're going to or that you truly do believe you're going to survive this day. I'm going to have to break that will of yours just like I do with every other player. I I like the move of the your video to the head of like a dude. Oh yeah. Well, since uh this the dwarven dude is supposed to be my uh representation uh, of me from running when I used to run my own business. This is what my uh, lead writer and lead artist thought I look like. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. I really did spend I've got two hours on Amazon looking up for skulls with beards on them. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be an awesome prop. Uh, Quack. O Overlay is still the other group. FYI. Oh, yeah. Thanks for mentioning that. I'll jump, yeah. jump on Twitch real quick and fix that. Also, hi, Cameron and Maya. How are you doing? Good. Good to hear. Uh, let me Coffee for today. Someone decided to do what's something that's gotten popular in Michigan lately called a wine and dash to me, so I now have... I'm a Smirnoff Ice. ice Smirnoff is a wine. Well, no. It's, it's any liquor, essentially. Apparently. And I got a... And I got some rum. I've got Bumbo Rum, uh, Jack and Coke. What else do I have? What the fuck is this? Uh, and some Jamaican rum that I can't pronounce. Oh, I got some Coke and rum in this little cooler that I bought today. Nice. It's nice. It's just a little mini fridge, essentially, that holds up to six cans, so something to keep I my have... room my stuff cold. I have H2O. <laughs> Stay hydrated, kids. <laughs> I've got so, MTN too. Question, since Cyrus, you're another DM. Uh, how do yep. you feel about 2.5 times deadly? You think that's pretty appropriate, right? No! Sure. Alright. <laughs> I'm happy you agree with me. I'll kill you last. So. Well, my group of seven, I usually run max hit points, and yeah, so I go I? well over deadly. Yeah, uh, and that's I do. I think you guys do know that. I think I mentioned it to you and the captain that uh, you need to be making sure you're running max HP. Mm -hmm. Okay, as long as you're doing that, you're good. <laughs> that reminds me, I should double check Ben to make sure I am running max HP on him. Yeah, I was just about to do that. <laughs> I'd recommend it, especially <laughs> okay, today. I think I, I am. I'm, fucked. I'm super squishy, so I need all the advantages I can get. Meanwhile, I'm going to be saving up and getting the books, all the books on D&D Beyond here soon, too, which will be nice. Nice. Sweet. Um... Which will also give the DM all the books, because then he will have the access to them through me. I already have access to all the books. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I haven't bought any of the adventure stuff, but I bought all the gear from the adventure stuff. Well, I just I'm going to be getting... Textbook. I'm going to be just getting the legendary collection, I think. Oh, the bundle? Yeah. Yep. So you'll have the adventures, too, if you ever decided to run the shitty adventures that they have. I mean, they're not shitty. It's just I'm not a fan of 5e's adventures. I like 3.5 more. Pizza has been sufficiently devoured. Okay, Captain has to die. He didn't bring me pizza. I am now offended. <laughs> roll roll for this. pizza eating. You I would bring you all your own pizza if I was closer. I... Bet my broken. fucking life on it. No, 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 no you don't have that excuse offense. right now. You don't have that excuse right now because you can order delivery for anywhere. I don't know you guys' address. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't take sure. much to ask. It does, okay. actually. Hand it over. <laughs> yeah, Karen, give him your address. Okay. 
Are you comfortable? 117, with him West, Street. 117 West Street. That's so all I'm you're getting. Fucking remember that. What county? What? <laughs> he doesn't even know what state what you're from. City? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. You coming to wish us cool. luck before the game, Angel? Also, you just gave your address uh, out hi, on hi. stream. Yeah, you, yeah, that is true. <laughs> Speaking of which, there, there's I'll plenty of that places. There's plenty of places that have a 117 West Street. Yeah, but they all know you live in Michigan, as we've talked about this many a times. Thank and you. There's still like, and there's still like ten places in Michigan that have that. He's trying to talk to you. Yes, Boog. And he's trying to talk to them. So I'm gonna sit him here. He found. Yeah, just track his IP address. <laughs> and I don't want. It'll be that hard. Uh, well, we're going to have a guest star on my end called my nephew, Angeal. How you feeling about this, Angeal? Where's Zach Fair? Oh. Where's my best boy? Hmm? He, he said Angeal. And the only Angeal I've ever heard is from Final Fantasy VII. Oh. Yep, that's, how, that's who my brother named him after. Where <laughs> is Zach Fair? I need my precious baby boy. I've never played Final Fantasy VII, so... Manage HP. Guys, no, I, I just want to say HP. I have Jesus a bad Christ, feeling. No. <laughs> I've had a bad feeling. You haven't been listening hey, to no, the no, no. every five seconds. Rolled HP. Okay, I gotta get my oh, max. Don't I gotta worry, set Captain. this. I, th I worry okay, everyone. I get plus 21, so 56 is what I need. Just think of Apply. it this way. <laughs> there we go. I'm not as squishy. Oh, can I, oh, let me make sure I adjust the account now, because now that you got max AP, here, give me a moment. Me, uh, <laughs> Don't you fucking it. dare, it would kill yeah. me anyways. He almost died to a hag last session, just the hag. I know. DM? Yeah. Can I get Link for the stream again? <laughs> it's gonna cost I can't you your find soul. it. Yes. When we're all TPK, we should all just randomly roll pirate characters. Just I'm totally already random, a pirate. but they're all pirates. But we should all do it again. <laughs> you know what? Fucking bet. Fair, it's pinned. Thank you. Yep. Now don't say I don't do anything nice for you when you're dead. I'm at eleven HP out of seventy seven. I don't think you need to adjust the encounter at all. Oh don't worry, I already did. We're good. Oh wait, yeah, you, you didn't get fully healed, did you? Fucking <laughs> You swearing in front of a child? Now I've really got to kill you to just teach you a lesson. You don't do that. That's messed up. And Jill has heard much worse. And if you're referring to Maya, she's heard way worse. School yeah. buses are a bitch. Stop swearing in front Stop of children. In front of a and Jill walked away. What are you talking about? Better walked have. away. You're still shouting. Yes, and Jill is walking now, Maya. Oh. I was gonna yeah. say, last I saw him, he could not walk. So oh, what no, have you done to that he's child? He's walking. He's walking. I did what Zilpip did. I just attached servos to his legs. We're here at the uh, silent now, well, now we have ethic Now we have more ethical this. dilemmas. Twitch, if there's a Twitch admin watching this and I get banned, I'm going to kill him, so I'm warning you that. <laughs> All I'm hearing is tiny I'm silent. No, I'm just joking. tell the admin his address so they can get him in trouble. <laughs> oh, no, my, my Amazon list of- a kid is not illegal. My Amazon list of uh, addresses just leaks. Oh no, Cameron, it's now all over the internet. <laughs> he has his own Twitch channel. Technically, they could just. Yeah. Yes, but Pretty I good. also have his actual address because I mailed him Yule gifts, so. Yep. You gotta get out of here, book. Take, take, take your squirt gun and go. The only people I don't have the address of are the miners in our group because, well, that would be a felony, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know my address, sir? Uh, yes. All right, give me five minutes. I can find it. Oh, that's not concerning. Oh, Reveal it on concerning. stream. Oh, okay. like a I'm magic gonna, trick. I'm going to be using the Beyond Roller today to test that out. The oh. one on the sheets. You want me to show you how it works? Here, let me let me show you a cool trick. Um, no, no. It's called, it's called You'll Kill Me Instantly. No. There. That, how does that work? <laughs> Fucking stop. Stop. No, no, you're, you're, no, no. Actually, wait. You know, yeah, I got to there's been a yes, theme really here. No. There's been a I'm theme bad. here I'm recently, and it's been Ancient Green Dragon, and I have a bad feeling. 
Well, the good feeling is that uh, Cyrus convinced me not to uh, fudge my rolls anymore and to roll in front of you guys, so now <laughs> there is no saving grace. I I didn't necessarily do that. I just said, hey, this bot is Cyrus, <laughs> Cyrus, you've killed us. <laughs> Let this be known that you are the first sacrifice now. Your charter price has doubled. <laughs> and I'm not healing you for fucking free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I just said the do you on twenty dice dice roller is kind of really. Cool. Right oh, yeah. Last yeah. session, yeah. I healed a lot of people. I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure you healed last yourself. Session. No, I didn't Who'd heal myself. Who'd you heal? You healed me, and I thanked you profusely. And I need you to heal me again because I'm still only at half health. Oh, me, don't worry. Eric, do your job. Don't worry. <laughs> the ancient green dragon's at a, a, uh, two thirds, or it's only at one third of its health. I mean, Snickness did a pretty it, bad job on it last night. I mean, it's the same doable? dragon. Yeah, that's the same dragon. <laughs> they, it's they doable are, then. They and Jill, are... stop hitting this. You can't beat this up to get stuff out of it. It's not a fucking pinata. D stop swearing <laughs> in front of the child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Ju you need to stop doing that. <laughs> God damn! Remove the child from his possession, please. Yes. No kidding. At least while I'm streaming. Jesus. <laughs> you get me banned off Twitch. I swear to God, Cameron. I am coming to your house. Good. I'll finally have a visitor. <laughs> It'll be your last, and I'm gonna go meet evil on your ass. It I don't I know if you want to do weapons, that with, with the current circumstances, DM. I think you'll want to wait. I will carry that guillotine on my right. back. Just wear a mask and gloves. Get the fuck out of here so that, exactly. I can, so that if I cuss, I don't get yelled at by the DM. Just wear a plague doctor mask. You'll be fine. Fuka, you're, no, okay, you're, you're a shitty that healer, thing, Fuka. Like I'm cussing. Fuka, you are a shitty healer. You cannot say you're a bard. You're not a healer. Roll cleric. Wait, Fuka's in here? Talk. Fuka's in the uh, Twitch chat. <sighs> okay, there. Angela's not I here. Mean, so I mean, I've I probably want. No, you done can't. more healing than I have seducing as a bard, so. Well, you've been seduced more as a bard than you've seduced others. <laughs> yeah, it's mentally you're... scarred and emotionally just ruined Zaya. Fuka, bugger off. <laughs> I mean, Fuka, you might be a healer. It doesn't mean you're a good one. <laughs> if we're going by hit points healed, Zaya's got you beat 10 to 1, buddy. Because <laughs> that's all she's oh, good do at. Do I? Sadly, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, at least I've done useful things at some point. Hey, Zaya, would you possibly be able to give me 29 hit points as soon as we start? Well, let me see how many spells I have left, Buckaroo, because that's my main concern, and you know the answer is not a lot. Cleric, how many spell slots you got left? Hey, Fuka, how do you feel about the fact that, you know, Sable, um, the great green dragon lord you guys fought last night, uh, is still flying around the city, and now he's in a really bad mood after getting his ass kicked by a dragonborn? Wait, does that mean Fucking Grim Christ. Legacy are, like, in the Tiefling lands as well? Well, that's a safe assumption. Ooh, I thought Dominate character a just dragon. got teleported or something, but oh boy. <laughs> Fuka did that last night. He did dominate a dragon and it pulled up the leather strips and Fuka was not having it. Oh, God. Although the dragon's ball gag was missing, we couldn't find it. Stop! <laughs> Small child! No, the child's gone. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear that part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nope. I wouldn't have said that if the child was here. I mean, okay. you, you can count Maya as a child, but at this point, she's been exposed to so much worse when we played Cards Against Humanity. Oh, I've been God. exposed to worse at school, and I mean that. If you ever <laughs> want to not have your mind ruined... To you? That's not okay. You need to learn to uh, run away. No, it's hard to not hear things when you're stuck in a classroom with people. <laughs> what uh -huh. the fuck are you hearing? Sexual innuendo, sexual jokes, curse words. That's high school, though. That's general. That's normal. That, that is. That's, that's what I mean. Let me tell you, it gets worse in college. Well, I'm yeah, sure not sure if you bring a dagger in People trying to play grab ass. <laughs> I, I, okay. All I heard was Cameron say something about grab ass, and as far as in yeah, that's all I heard. That, I'm worried. No. <laughs> oh my god. No, 
co-ed dorms in college, if you end up staying in a dorm, you have guys trying to play grab ass. Oh, I don't know well, many co-ed okay, dorms. In yeah, me. Fuka's got a point. There are headphones that you can just, you know, pluck in your ears. Yeah, but then you don't listen to the teachers, and that leads to its own issue, because teachers get upset about that. Yeah. They don't give a shit about people saying shit about sex no. and whatnot? I had a guy well, punch me in the face in the middle of when class. When the teachers teacher are busy or gone, or they wait until you're in the lunchroom, and you can't really eat outside the lunchroom. I was able to before, you know, when school's in session, but then a bunch of kids did a bunch of dumb stuff, and then everyone had to be in the lunchroom, and it ruined it. Yeah, that, that's pretty For normal. everyone. Yeah, well, yep. I mean, you still, still get some heads. If there will, I think you are, I go see, um, uh, <laughs> shit. Go see Van Camp. Van Camp. He'll help you. Yeah. If he's still there. Go... So now yeah, Cameron has given up the school that he went to. So just for those wondering, because you can look up that teacher probably and rate my professor and find out what school he works at. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. Cam. Cameron, it's fine. You're digging the hole, buddy. <laughs> Fuka, shut <laughs> up. Oh, just, just... I don't think he actually has a right, my professor. Now I gotta look this up. Oh, oh gosh. Most, just... most high school teachers are, uh, there's specific websites where you can look them up pretty easily. Or you can just literally look up the name and high school teacher and you'll be able to find them. Because they have a public listing for almost all teachers. Just as long as no one goes trying to stalk my school. See, I'm Cameron... sure... This there are needed. school photos, and I don't want to no. be seen. Uh, they don't. They don't publicize uh, school photos. You can't publicize minors' photo. It's illegal. Can't. Not nope. even for like not without stuff. Not without parental permission. Yeah, I was gonna say you have to get permission for that. Yeah, guardian or okay. parent. So no, you can't. Uh, but teachers' pictures are definitely always posted on uh, on websites and stuff like good, that. Good news. There's like two, there's like over two thousand van camps in the East, United States. We're fine. Yes, but you know it's in Michigan because it's already been stated in the call. So, <laughs> Cameron. Unless we've been lying this whole don't time. Don't remind them. We're actually in oh, Ohio, Captain. And we just drive up to Michigan. <laughs> We have talked about the uh, Michigan so much on this on rejected potential stream in the year in the last two or three years that it's now it's all over. Michigan's so. weather is more chaotic than D and D, or about as chaotic as D and D. That's a challenge. You should try. Oh um, I mean, you a try little of weather. <laughs> Cyrus, what were you saying? I uh, come a little farther north. It's even more chaotic. <laughs> oh boy! Because we have the chance of uh, lake lake wind. It'll drop like forty oh. degrees in the middle of the summer. God. Fun. But, but yeah, just up the hill, it's still forty degrees warmer. <laughs> it's Cyrus, it's where are you fun. from? Uh, um, the point of uh, Lake Mich or Lake Superior. Oh. I was able to like, tell you had like an ever so slight accent, and I was curious, like, what kind? Slight? I think it's pretty clear his accent. <laughs> I can't hear him very well, to be honest. Oh. Yeah, he has that northern accent. So, am I quiet northern. or am I loud enough? I can turn um, I you probably can... just don't have you turned up. One second. Yeah, I max out everyone's volume so I can hear him. So we're good. That's yeah, cool. I yeah, I had you low. That's Try talking now. Especially hello, hello, hello. That is much better. Well, I don't no, think he maxes very... out trends volume. No, I don't. Oh, um, that's about that's where I was going. That's a very dangerous game, especially with Trent. I mean, Trent isn't that loud unless he starts screeching, and he's learned not to do that because I will, I can kill him, and he knows that. So, you know, there there is that ruling. <laughs> There's only so far you push the DM. That's that's the rule of our chat. Uh, I think Fuka? that should be the rule in any D and D game. No, I was no. gonna say. Sometimes it's fun to push the DM because it's really fun to watch them get all prickly about things. Um, <laughs> prickly. All right, Ven dies first. Um, yeah, Fook, I'm not reading that out loud. What did he say? He's in the chat talking shit about Cameron. Yeah, I was going to say, you're allowed to read it. I'm not going to say wait, that wait, out loud. Wait, talking shit about me? Hold on. I got to see this. Mm -hmm. He's talking about how shitty of a healer you are. Hey, hey Fuka. At least I wasn't a boar that got spit roasted, essentially. And knocked down a whole tavern. <laughs> uh oh. You've awakened Fuka. Fuka. <laughs> Is it Robert still alive? Yeah, Robert's still alive. Yeah. And not Divis. Not Divis. No, Divis had to die. But Robert's still alive. 
<laughs> it's better when the beef. It's better. I don't know where. You're cutting out, Cam. Fuka, they're talking about Robert the Boar. That's what they're talking shit on. Oh, uh, it's gonna make me sound a bit better. Oh, God. You're gonna sound better? I don't want to hear that. Yeah, man. Gods, that was a fun session. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, all right. You guys are just messing around chat now. I see how it is. Maybe you should have taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, uh, Maya. How's what? this? Do you see what Fuka just said? No, I'm not looking at Twitch chat right now. It usually wow. lags. Wow. Jesus Christ, Fuka. <laughs> Chill out. Okay, I'm coming to see. What Let's did, see. Let's what did he say? Here, Nothing's me... coming up for me. I'll, I'll grab it for you so you can see it. I'm looking yeah, I went in the chat room and nothing Yeah, came because of the fact that it, uh, when you unless you're already in, you're not going to see it. Yeah, yeah, I missed it. Oh, I don't care what you, Cameron. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Why am I getting a Minecraft ad on your stream of all things? I was about to say. Yeah, I, got... I was just gonna ask that. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't played. Uh, there you go. That's what he said. I gotta well, see. Yeah, that's what he was what typing his die about. He left with his own glitch, and I couldn't have stopped him. <laughs> It was Dibbis. Dibbis did just disappeared when he wanted to, like a real cat. <laughs> Gives me an NPC so cat. Do you really want to mess with the guy who's rolled, like, the most nat 20s of any of the party? I mean, <laughs> Dibbis did NPC. roll more nat 20s than even Fuka. Yeah, like, I don't now. even know the last time I rolled a nat 20, but it was like, if it was for anything, it was like just a perception check or something stupid. <laughs> It was like I also, never in case for attack. Young starts trying to fuck me over. I have my 3D printed die. That's, oh boy. That's even. I have resin casted die. Ooh, nice! I got mine 3D printed by a friend, so it looks really nice. I just need to get some good paints so I nice. can make the numbers stand up more. Have die? I got like I have dice. I got like a year ago. Yeah, I gave you those for your birthday. Yep, and then that's all I got. <laughs> I was poor at the time. No, I'm just saying I've not gotten any new diet. I wasn't. I wasn't talking about your social class or whatever, Cameron. Economic class. <laughs> Economic, yeah. Come on, Maya. I did not teach you these terms for nothing. Damn it. You didn't teach me. If you Luca, were probably my economics teacher, I feel like anything. I'd have done a lot better. No, you would Or would have. be doing a lot better. No, you wouldn't have. Uh, more depressing. No, you... Oh God. Yes, Cameron is more depressing than your time as Zaris. That's true. No, I'm more depressed than your time as Zaris. <laughs> Therapy. I feel like I need to kill him just so I feel better now. Uh, go ahead. Go where's, ahead. Where's, where's my favorite song? Go oh, ahead. Got... Here, give me a moment. Let me pull up my favorite. Go song. ahead. Kill, 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 kill me. Go ahead. Go for it. I've been working Go for on it. it. How about we don't kill people preemptively? No, no, let, let him, let him, because he knows what my next character is. d is all about killing people. He knows what my next character is going to be, he's going to be mad at me for it, so if he kills that character, he's going to be like, and then probably try and force me back into playing that. So go for it. I thought it would it'd be another bribe point, wouldn't it? Trent is using another bribe point. Because How many knows times my next then be redirected? Because my next character is gonna be a character based off the DM. Here we go again. I don't even know where to begin. The campaign is an airplane and a tailspin. It's a damn shame. Better pay attention to the stressful situation that you're in. First, everyone ignored my advice. Split the party not once but twice. Unsuccessful and imprecise. Didn't even try to disable device on that knife trap. I mean, how does anybody even miss that? I've been looking for somebody to be pissed at. Got a snap bag that says giving a fuck is my jump stat. So bump that. All of you dummies are gonna feel the full wrath of the DM. Chances for survival are slim. No revival, sink or swim. Not about to have another night of men maxing murder hobos and Mary Sue's. Now, you don't even get to choose. You lose. I already lit the fuse. Don't look confused. This is what happens when you take advantage of all that I've given you. This is not an example of my fortitude.
attitude, not who I am, it's what I've been driven to. Total party kill, they shouldn't have flown it. Heroes are haunted, cause they know that I got what I wanted. And it's a total party kill. Your devastation has given me elation. I feel like I'm on a vacation. It's a total party kill, they shouldn't have flown it. The heroes are haunted, cause they know that I got what I wanted. And it's a total party kill. Your devastation has given me elation. I feel like I'm on a vacation. Company halt, better get ready for the assault. Balls to the wall and it's all your fault. You just had to ransack the royal vault, so it's payback. All of y'all are in default. First, everybody roll for decks. Next, reflect on your last respects. None of you pass the check. All of you feel the effect of the hex. Flex, that's the answer. Or do you forget that I'm a necromancer? Shatter in the neck of the blade dancer. Making a wreck out of the dragon lancer. Last chance to pray to the god of your choosing. And if you're fortunate, maybe you can get some mercy. I'm commanding this controversy. I got curses worse than Cersei. Let me take a little bit of time to celebrate and appreciate what I just did. I obliterated them off of the grid. Boy, don't play, don't mess with the kid. Giant squid. It doesn't matter entirely how I design your death. All that's important is you understand them, that this is your final breath. It's a total party kill. They shouldn't have flown it. The heroes are on it, cause they know that I got what I wanted. And it's a total party kill. Your devastation has given me elation. I feel like I'm on a vacation. It's a total party kill. They shouldn't have flown it. The heroes are on it, cause they know that I got what I wanted. And it's a total party kill. Your devastation has given me a lesson. I feel like I'm on a vacation. Total party kill. Your devastation has given me a lesson. I feel like I'm on a vacation. Yeah, it's a total party kill. They shouldn't have flown it. The heroes are haunted. Cause they know that I got what I wanted. The event of an entire group of player characters in a game wiped out by a threat or challenge. In many role-playing games, a critical hit is a chance that a successful attack will deal more damage than a normal blow. When you make an attack roll and get a natural 20, you hit, regardless of your target's armor class, and you have scored a threat. Y'all can hate and debate over who is number one. Just let me know when you're done. I'm here to have fun. Bring it puns and diabolical phrases. Faded to people straight, pay me praises. I stay mellow. Let belly never yellow. Slow mo flow like a bow on the cello. Body like a bowl full of jello. Mind kind of like Einstein combined with Longfellow. Y'all can hate and debate over who is number one. Just let me know when you're done. I'm here to have fun. Bring the puns and diabolical phrases. Faded and people straight, pay them their praises. I stay mellow. Let belly never yellow slow mo flow like a bow on a cello body like a bowl full of jello mine kind of like einstein combined with longfellow this is it y'all the witness in the critical hit i stay lit i'm lacerating them lickety split you've entered into a satirical battle of wits the lyrical serial killer i'm as real as it gets that's a base hit i'm practicing persistence consistency means more than distance insistently dismiss assistance resist the path of least resistance gee willikers goodness gracious I would stay, but I gotta stay tenacious. You could say I'm a little ostentatious. At the very least, way too loquacious. So let's make way for the next gateway. Or as I prefer to call it, the digital getaway. I tip scales and I'm doing it the nerd way. Came for the concept, stayed for the wordplay. Y'all can hate and debate over who is number one. Just let me know when you're done. I'm here to have fun. Bring them puns and diabolical phrases. Faded and people straight pay them their praises. I stay mellow. Let belly never yellow. Slow mo flow like a bow on a cello. Body like a bowl full of jello. Mine kind of like Einstein combined with Longfellow. I'm bringing the power to the nth degree. And I ain't gonna be stopping till I got my name up on the marquee. Floating like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Man, I guess I'm like the fat white rap version of Ali. So call me. I got objective analysis. When I spit, I'm so talented, I give people paralysis. And I've been writing until my hands are covered in calluses. And all the members on my team can raise the chalices as the malice hits. You think you've been hitting the throat? I'm dope, my jaw's so big, you're gonna need a bigger boat. My flow's so cold, you finna need a winter coat. Landslide, homie, we ain't even gotta take a vote. The verdict is in and the vote is unanimous. I'm a fan of this legislation to legalize cannabis. I told you I would hustle at any cost. And just because I'm wandering doesn't necessarily mean I'm lost. Y'all can hate and debate over who is number one. Just let me know when you're done, I'm here to have fun. Bring them puns and diabolical phrases. Faded and people straight pay them.
And I'm back. Hello, Colonel boys. Sanders shall make his appearance. Hello. <laughs> Enjoy my music taste. <laughs> no, because I can't hear it because I have the I have the stream muted. Well, you missed out on the answers to all your questions. No, I really didn't. Mm-hmm. Is Fuka no, just used a used a bribe point for uh what he wanted to send your guys' way? What? <laughs> Fuga, you motherfucker. Fuga, I mean, I can't believe you asked for the bright point to use your old bright point on this. I forgot you had that bright point. Oh my, I mean, I, I, don't, know if you I don't know if I have any bright points. I'm you gonna do have to not. Go and see if I... I, I do keep track. <laughs> I have a list on everyone as a note for myself. Um, Damn. yeah, Fuga. I know I still should have some wishes left because bright I points bright point for them and never got to use them. Are something you can get uh, from me. Basically, it allows you to do one of anything, kind of like a genie's wish if you think about it. Um, and the re it the only way fuck to fuck you over. The only re way to get it is to do or is when I offer it for something specific. Sometimes it's quest uh, quest reward. Sometimes it's because uh something but I did something I needed done and I couldn't take care of it. Um, it just depends. I mean, uh, do I still have those I wishes see. floating around from when I traded in that bright point for those wishes? Nope. Damn it. But don't I was worry. Just gonna wish for, I was just gonna wish for a full heal, damn it. <laughs> God damn it, Fook. I wasn't telling him that you used two of them. I was trying to be nice. Oh, man. Uh, Fuka, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I call favoritism. No, he he's trying to kill us. Fuka just feels like murdering people today. All right. So last stream, uh, the party got together and managed to hold their own against a couple of uh, green dragon wormlings, a green hag, and a um, tiefling that was actually turned out to be a... I'm thinking Rock of the Shasta. word. Rock Shasta. Rock Shasta. Thank you. Yes. With that, uh, the party managed to hold on, barely uh, surviving. However, and unfortunately for them, uh, the, uh, this is the party realized the beating they took. The city seems to be infested with what looks to be undead, green hags, and other creatures of the night, as well as small green dragon wormlings. As the party ga er, gathered on the bridge, well, on the walls, Looking, peering into the city further and further, you lot are able to see further off in the distance that there seems to be on one of the watchtowers, uh, on one of the far corners of the wall, opposite of you, seems to have something very shiny that keeps gleaming uh, every once in a while as it catches the light. A few minutes later, uh, a ruckus can be heard off into the city, but nothing unusual as the cackling of uh, hags off in the distance is continuously heard. The shambling of zombies, as well as the moaning and crumbling, and the scraping sounds can all be heard all about. Pleasant. I forgot how fucked I am. No, it comes they to do the not. Uh, Zaya. Okay. So I just kind of blink my eyes and look bleary eyed for a moment, and then everything's fine? Yes, basically. All right, well, Zaya looks highly concerned. Zaya looks very confused and very concerned. Why? Okay, what guys, I I don't want to cause alarm, but uh, I maybe I'm just affected by something in the air here. Maybe it was the water, but I just had... I, I can only describe it... No, no, I, I can only describe it as a vision, and there's a dragon eating someone. A very large green dragon eating someone. And she's uh, clutching her rapier, like, very anxious, like, I I don't know if it's just an illusion, if there's... I think we should be very, very, very careful. Oh, great. Is okay. it anyone you know, or just Not, not that I saw, it's just a, 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 a small figure, just a small uh, figure here, being... Let's... Let's find a place to try and rest, because at least get me to rest, because I can... Actually, can one of you carry me for about four hours? No. <laughs> Why the fuck do you need to be carried? If I rest for four hours... Board. Well, one, I'll heal you first for it. Two, because if I rest for four hours, I'm fully... I'll, I'll feel a lot better. All right, and I'll be able to cast more spells. Alright, <laughs> uh, Ven, how much do you weigh? Um, I'm wearing chainmail so, and carrying two 
I carry a short sword and long sword, so I, I have 60 pounds on me extra. Aside from that, I'm a thin old man that we never actually figure out my weight on. Oh, give me a moment. I can pull that up. 500 pounds. Because I'm, I'm staring at my stuff and I never finish uh, it. The average is about 100 pounds. So I'm 160 pounds. Captain, can you add that to your carrying weight? <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. I'll heal... I'll heal Captain just as he picks me up, just patting his back with a cure wounds of level... I don't know what... Hold on, I gotta check what my spell spot... What spell slots I have left. <laughs> Captain, you feel an old man know. begin rubbing on your back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lovely. level three. <laughs> Alright, All right, how much are you gonna heal me for? Cast... I'm, I'm doing it now. Oh, okay. <laughs> the rubbing so becomes every... very vigorous. So is everybody in this land like you guys? No, no. We're uh an kind of eyes then. I fall asleep. No, no, I wouldn't I wouldn't call us that. That gives us way too much credit. We're uh, we're unlucky. We're okay, That's good to know. the way to put it. <laughs> okay, so I'm at sixty HP. I healed 19. I'll do one more just before I pass out completely. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I can work with 60. I'm doing it. I have spell slots, and if I get this whole rest, then I'm fine. Well, uh, how low is your HP? Because you might want to heal yourself. Uh, Cyrus could use some heals. Oh, yeah, Cyrus. I'm fine, so don't worry about me. I can There you go. 11 more to the captain. I am at full HP. All right, Captain, as the old man rubs you to full HP. <laughs> Good strong back, lad. Good strong back. I go into my meditative. I go into my trance. The smell so, of cheap thanks. old cologne and alcohol is all over this old man, Captain. Sounds like my crew. So Him and I will get end. along just fine. Yes, See, to clarify, because it's been a while, when our, my grandfather gave us the mission, he never said anyone was going to meet us in the city, right? He wanted us to just retrieve it by ourselves. Yes, that is return. correct. The two items that you're okay, supposed to so, retrieve. Yeah, so we have no allies that will meet us in the city. No help. And as you no look aid. out on the city, you don't see anything that seems to be living at this point, other than they hags themselves. Looking Wait about, though, it looks like the walls are pretty much cleared. Uh, it doesn't seem that any monsters seem to be up on them. Um, thus, you guys seem to have a completely um, set or uh, non-combat area currently. Okay, Real quick, and... what level are all the undead in the city? About. <laughs> that is something that the DM does not give. I was going to say, I don't think he would tell yeah. us that. <laughs> Damn. Um, so, <laughs> look like they does it... <laughs> Look like it's temporarily cleared, or like people, like the creatures are purposefully avoiding the area. As you look along yeah. the walls, it just seems that the walls have a lot of dust on them, uh, cobwebs, mm -hmm. and what well, looks to be like no one's been up here in a long time. Does it look secure enough that we could take a rest, all of us? As you look about, there don't seem to be any stairs or anything other than the path that Cyrus and Captain took to get up here. Uh, unless you go to one of the towers where you assume there's probably stairs heading down. But that would be, from your experience, having lived in Teething Lands and grown up around the bigger cities, you Bad know for idea. a fact that they're easily blockable. Okay. Just set the old man on the trap door. So, I don't feel comfortable in the open, but I feel like we should all rest. Do we want to try to move to one of the towers we could block it off but we could be cornered there cyrus begins to breathe heavy yeah we can we can do that and he's i feel slightly better not much but all right oh. nice deep ventilation anywhere to put this oaf down i'm okay with that all right uh one of you perhaps would like to lead the way Cyrus, I'm carrying a man. You lead. <laughs> wow, that's the best compliment Ven's gotten all day. <laughs> um, so we're trying to find a little bit safer spot. Uh, I suppose we could go not the way we came, so farther <laughs> up. 
as you look down the walls, you can see there's two directions you can go on either uh, either going straight ahead or turning back and taking a left hiding down the other wall. Both will lead you to a tower. Both towers seem to, from what you can see at this distance, seem to not have any activity, minus the occasional glint of something uh, in the tower. Uh, either tower closer than the other? Uh, the one in front of you is just a few minutes or a few seconds closer. Let's take that one. <laughs> All right. Heading down there, uh, as you walk, you can uh, kind of watching the city. Many of the hags seem to stare up at you, but don't seem to do anything. Uh, zombies seem to be similar as they should just continue to shamble about, not really paying attention to you. As you can finally make it up to the tower, the doors are open. It seems to, again, sam some to the wall is full of cobwebs, dust, and a few skeletons that seem completely uh, ancient at this point. Okay. Uh, what? How this looks good. Let's try in here. All right. As All you right. walk in, it seems there. Uh, as you're looking about, it seems to be a, a normal stone tower with a wooden staircase going up to another level up, where you saw the glinting item. Below, or to the uh, to come up here from the ground floor, it seems that there's a large ladder that seems to have a simple hatch that is easily uh, securable. But both doors, as far as uh, entering from the walls, are both busted to a point where it does not look like they are securable at this time. We want to try here or else. At least we can see what's coming. Yes. Um, how big is the place we're in? Like, how wide is it? The tower is roughly about 30 feet by 30 feet. This thing's pretty good sized. Okay. Is there a second floor to this tower? Like, yes, uh, there is up? a staircase that does go up. Uh, as uh, that seems to have something that you saw glinting up there from farther away. Yeah, Want to try upstairs? Like, yeah, is there like a post set up with like any kind of weaponry or defenses? From what you can see, that what's left of the weapon, uh, the, what's left of what would have been a weapons rack, just seems to be all dust eaten away by termites. Is the most likely. Okay. Seems safe enough. Yeah, if we go up, we can defend the stairs. Yeah. And how floor it's floor. how tall up from the second story? It's about 15 feet up, but it is all stairs, okay. so you can just walk up there as a group. Okay, yeah, then we should uh, make base on the second floor. All right. Sure. As you guys walk up the stairs, the creaking sound... Uh, Captain, as you kind of step onto it, it seems that the stairs are starting to... You can hear a little bit of snapping uh, from the yours and Ven's combined weight. Luckily, managing to get up before anything falls uh, breaks with uh, from underneath you. Going up to okay. this... <laughs> go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, getting up to the second floor, it's completely open. Uh, there's no glass. The What looks to have been once a large turret... Um, it was designed here with a overarching stone pa or stone pillars that go up into a dome. Um, the dome seems to be in ill repair, but just secure or just solid enough to where no rain could come through. You finally realize that the glinting item seems to have been a telescope looking off into the distance, and that is all that is up there. Does the telescope I seem snore magical? Stuff, stuff. <laughs> Ben snores softly, and the smell of putrid death comes off of his breath. I set him down. <laughs> Can I see if the telescope is magically imbued with anything? Sure. How would you like to do so? Uh, probably an arcana check. All right. That'll work. Or if you have identify. There's just ways to look through it. 17. It, it does seem to have magic coming off of it. Can I tell what kind of magic? Like, what school? You are not sure. Zaya, what'd you find? Well, this telescope seems magical. It it could provide useful information, or it, it could be a trap. Although, unless it was set up I'll by... <laughs> Alright, oh, if you would like to, go ahead. All right, I can uh, identify it. It'll just take me about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We have the time. As a pirate yeah. captain, I just didn't really care. <laughs> well, do you just go for it before he can cast it? Uh, if you convince me otherwise, I might wait. But uh, I'm walking forward. I snore and fart, trying to convince him to stop. <laughs> no. 
The putrid smell of rotting alcohol wafts amongst the tower. Alright, fine, yeah. I'll walk away from the fucking scent and so I can <laughs> get away from the telescope. Okay, I'll, Open the window, air it out. It's an open air area, so it's gonna be there are no windows. <laughs> Cyrus, That's the problem. After about 10 minutes of uh, doing your ritual casting, uh, you finally identify this. Th uh, the only thing that's different about the magic on this uh, telescope is that it's been enchanted to allow uh, people to see much farther away than a traditional telescope. There's no legitimate magical spell. It's just an enchanted, a basic enchanted item that would, prob yeah. from what you can tell, uh, the according to the spell, lets you allows you to see up to 300 times the amount of a normal telescope, which is <laughs> extreme how big is really that telescope? it's um not very large it's it seems something um about a foot long and seems to be standing on uh, three little pillars it's made of gold and bronze from what you can tell with the glass uh, being rather old there's a lot of dust around it and there's a small spider that's made its home in the between the three legs does it look easy to remove I was about to say, can I take it? You can yeah. see that there are screws uh, on the from the three legs that you could easily unscrew. Um, you can I also... think we should mm -hmm. scout wait, and then wait, take wait, it wait, for wait. us. Is it trapped? <laughs> uh, Cyrus, with your identify spell, you did not find any tra magic that would be based or make you think that this yeah. item was trapped. They, yeah, it's I not sure that important. Um, like to the people. I look through the telescope to see what's. Uh, surrounding us what it's pointed at <laughs> all right as you look out you can see far off into the ocean onto another shore of a continent that you somewhat recognize where you see a very large steel ship multiples of them in fact with giant purple crystals glowing about that seem to be powering the, the, the ship as you kind of surmise you see what looks to be winged humanoids that seem to be flying about in black armor Many of them looking as if they are. Uh, there's a, a full armada getting prepared. Um, there's an army in the distance. A what? Also, as Captain I, pulls I like... away, you yeah. also so notice his eye is surrounded in black paint. Awesome. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Is there a way I can wipe it off? Because I also want to look through it and see what's through it. As you look at well, the... Well, you don't want a black eye, too? As you look at the no, eyepiece... No, I want to wipe it off. There's nothing there. It's just a gold eyepiece. Oh, well... It's probably I... dust and soot and whatnot. No, no, that's that that's not dust and soot. So what it's did you spiders. see, Captain? <laughs> I saw ships, metal ships, had some odd crystals on them, and I saw these winged men. Mm. I don't know. I, yeah, I got does any of this on. sound familiar to me? Nope. Not in the slightest. Well, the winged man thing might. Nope. Not in the slightest. Because we didn't meet some winged you... people. Nope. Not in the slightest. So, wait, Captain, these aren't people from your world? DM, I don't know this one. <laughs> Captain, in your days of piracy, you've never seen this lot, but if the description that you, from what you could tell of them, given their shapes were kind of hard to make out fully, you would guess that this is either what would be, uh, what the translatable term from the language you've picked up with this lot as an Asimar of your own homelands, oh. or rather, in your homelands, they're called the Helio. Oh. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so, so if rest. I'm right, I think I might know what those people are. But and I can't is, be too are, sure. Um, are they a big threat? So long as you don't piss them off. This shouldn't be a problem, but um, I would rather be safe and stay my distance. How how many days travel do you think they are from here? I can't quite tell how far this telescope is putting out. So well, it can go up to like 300, 300 times normal, so it might be quite a ways. Mm. So wait, does it DM, does it look like it's off the mainland, like the continent 
He right can by see us. the land. Uh, he can see the land, um, but it does not look anything like the tiefling architecture he's seen. Also, House. it is. He does not know whether those crystals exist in your uh, in this world or not. So he's only seen them in his homelands because they're very common where he is from. So they're a power source. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Well, wait. We would know. I would know that those crystals are weird. Yeah. So they're definitely not from our world. So there is there not a rift? Is there not anything? They're just there. As far as I can tell, there are some ships. There are these winged creatures known to my land as the Helio. But I don't see any rift. No portal. Nothing. Hmm. And the Helio. Damn. Did. Are the the Rakshasa come from their world, right? That is correct. And his tongue, the... they are known. Oh, I gotta remember. There's a specific name for them. But go ahead. Are the Helio? Do they get along with the Rakshasa? No. Are they enemies? They are what I could describe as bitter opposites. So could we perhaps use their help? They might be here to to cleanse the island. You yes, may ask for help, might be dead. but I'm not exactly a um, saint. Mm. Well, per... this could be good or Actually, bad if we... Cyrus, yes. so, cause since you are a Nord, uh, or yes. you grew up in the Noric lands, you God know a friend. lot about the Heli. Um, how That are a oh, distant boy. relative, basically in a sense a sibling to the Helio. Um, the from what you've experienced growing up, the Heli and the Helio the only difference is the islands they come from. Uh, one coming from the Heli coming from your land, and the Helio coming from the main islands of their home territory. However, the Heli and Helio, give me a moment. I'm gonna mute Zaya for a second. Um, just because your mic was uh reverberating. Hey, um, so yes, the Heli are very well known as people or a people of. Extreme magic, they're the only race uh, in your home world or homelands that do not require the magic, the crystals to cast magic uh, before the merging of the two worlds. They are also known to be some of the most dangerous, uh, Which, but the Nords have always had a good relations and an alliance with them due to the fact that the Nords are afraid of the, an invasion from the Heli because they don't believe they would stand a chance. So, all right, there we go. Okay. So I will kind of relay that. Uh, I'm not certain if me being from where I am from, that it would mean anything to them, but it's possible. Well, if we were to hang back and hide while they potentially invaded the land and took it over, do you think they would care about our presence? I'm not certain, but I don't think so. I could always present myself as a Nord and call on what our countries have done throughout the history. And DM, the, my grandfather and them, they didn't leave any way for us to communicate with them, correct? That is correct. So there's no way to message them unless, Ven, you don't have any way I could contact my grandfather. I'm a... I'm asleep. You forget this. Uh, Wafting no. in his own <laughs> terrible scent. <laughs> it would be hard to take a city by ourselves, especially if they're already coming this if way. If you wait four hours out of character, you know that I've cast sending to you a few times. Yeah. So you do know I have a communication spell, at least. I, I think we should all take turns keeping watch and rest and when we're all awake and I kind of like glance at Ven and his stench uh, I think we should all decide on a plan of action if I can contact my grandfather he might be able to advise us on some things but if not we're on our own okay who wants to take first watch I mean I, I can. can take first watch Oh. Yeah, I'll I'll take first watch. I can take second. Okay. I'll take third. All right. As you guys begin to uh, set up camp, relaxing, of course, realizing you can't make a campfire in this tower as you probably burn the floor, realizing it's still made of hardwood. Um, 
looking about uh, Cyrus. Let's start with you on giving me a perception check, please. Sure. All right, 14. Uh, so as you look about, you notice that the green hags continue to head towards the center city. Um, zombies seem to kind of propagate wherever they want, bumping into buildings, not really paying attention to much. You catch the occasional green dragon wormling walking about, but again, they all seem to kind of converge towards the center of the city where you see a giant tower, similar to a giant, uh, a uh, Japanese palace, if you will. Um, as you look about, the tower seems to be, you know, in pretty good condition still, and you assume that that's probably the capital, uh, or the uh, castle in the, of the capital, where the emperor probably lived that Zai has talked about. Looking out towards the outer portion of the wall, you may, you notice there's the zombie hordes continue walking about mass in mass numbers, many tiefling zombies amongst them for the most part, but still see no sign of that fleet anywhere until you unless you look through the um the, oh god I'm so bad with terms today, uh looking oh. through the hour, uh, telescope why don't I the hourglass oh, yeah. <laughs> what, that would have been a weird one. Um, yes, so, uh, but after a while, nothing seems to go on during your watch. Okay. I will wake up, uh, Zaya, or make her alert, okay. and kind of relay all that to the hag scene center of the city. Nothing else seems to be going on. I, uh, that fleet out there, but that's about it. Okay. Good luck. All right. All right. Thanks. Zaya. Uh, when I... Yes. Oh. I was going to ask, when I do take my watch, I do want to look through the telescope again. Mm -hmm. Like, when during it. Okay. Give me a perception check. Check on the fleet. Okay. Because I... Oh, boy. All right. Watch it. Looking about, you seem to notice the same thing that Cyrus is saying. Uh, after a few moments, nothing... It seems that the green hags, zombies, and dragon wormlings seem to follow suit to what uh, Cyrus described. Looking through the telescope, accidentally bumping it, all you seem to see is ocean off, long off into the distance. And as you pull your eye away, you now have a small black spot around your eye. Can I wipe it off? You don't notice it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, didn't I see Captain with it? Yes, you did. But you did not see Cyrus with one. Mm. So, uh... as nothing seems to go on, the night carries on. Coming to the end of your watch, I assume you wake up, Captain. Yep. All right. Is there anything specific? As my... Yes, Vin? It's been about four hours yet yes. now, correct? Yep. I'm just going to immediately come out of my trance and just feel like, mm. awake. <laughs> Can't love what? Captain, the old smelly man suddenly awakens while you're on watch. Good luck, I say as I go to bed. <laughs> All right, Captain, give me a perception check, and then I'll come to you then. Okay. Um, you're all right with me rolling physical die, right? That's fine. I still don't know how to do it in Discord. No worries, man. Uh, let's see. Combine twenty-one. All right. As you look out, you and Ven happen or stare uh, stare out at the uh, edge or into the city. You notice that the center. Mm castle that Zaya kind of pointed out earlier, the center keep, if you will, seems to explode open uh, with the roof, po roof popping up and a giant green blob off in the distance flying out towards what looks to be some uh, some sort of giant green dog Cerberus looking thing. You also see that two other flashes of green seem to fly towards the same direction uh, and what looks to be a battle ensues as a goliath sized creature or a goliath um, in the gargantuan category just suddenly appears and starts headlocking one of the green blobs from this distance you see another one the do larger I... of them start yes you see all this as well Ben. okay i was gonna say do i feel divinity off of them at all uh, you do not feel divinity coming from their direction, but you do know, can uh, clearly see the dragons. You also see that the ancient, uh, the large dragon, from what you can tell, the largest of the three, seems to fly up into the air and slamming itself into buildings and dropping itself down on its back. Uh, eventually is it getting closer? Off. It is. Old man, wake them up. Uh, I wake up. Cyrus first, then Zai, because I will, and I tell Cyrus to make up Zai because I don't need to get slapped today. Looking okay, at, sorry, I cut out. What what happened? 
I'm waking. I'm telling Cyrus to wake you up. Okay. As you lot wake up, you see you can feel the ground shaking as this giant green dragon that you, if you had to guesstimate, was probably around the 50 feet tall minimum. This thing seems to be massive with almost a 200 foot wingspan as it seems to cover the city. And it gets bigger and bigger the closer it gets to you as it seems to be fighting with something. You can see a small speck that seems to be bouncing around on it. Eventually, it seems to fly off back towards the center keep, along with a smaller version of itself, and that's all, as the giant green Cerberus dog seems to shrink back down alongside the giant Goliath. And they vanish okay. back into the city. I would recommend that we start moving away, but as I do so, can I uh, use my thieves tools to uh, take the telescope with us? Yes, let me add that to your inventory. Yeah, while he's doing that, I want to relay I'm to sure Ven... I'm already in my inventory. What no, I mean... I want to relay to him... Item. Go ahead, sorry. I want to relay to Ven what we uh, saw last night with the fleet and ship, and I want to ask if he can try to contact my grandfather and tell him to ask to see if our grandfather thinks we should wait for their help or if he needs us to get the items without interfering or messing with this army or what. I will use sending to do that. Bless you. Bless you. Along with the sneeze. All right. Um, give me a moment. I'm just pulling something up. Okay. Who are they sending? I'm yeah, watching. you do. That's not what I'm looking up. Uh, I'm just looking up. I was looking for an item I was trying to find. Uh, ba 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 ba. Choo -choo -choo. Okay, there we go. I found it. Let me just add that to my collection and add that to your character sheet. I will have to edit it later uh, instead of 120 feet to be uh, 300, but that's or 300 times, but that's fine. Um, thank you for the follow, whoever Wait, just followed. Um, I got something. No, that's oh, not our captain. Um, yeah. Okay. So Ven, as you start begin sending the uh, message. <laughs> The message comes back. Now, I believe the reply is 24... Is it 24 words? Um, let me double check it. I do believe it's 25 words or less. Okay. Yeah, 25. 25 words or less with a creature, to a creature you are familiar with. Okay. Alright, so as he... Res so what do you send to him? I send just the basics. Big ships can be seen from the capital through a magic telescope. Um, what do? Then what sneeze. Do? <laughs> All right. The guy reply, or the you hear a very old, withered voice reply. I haven't seen you in years. What do you mean? What the fuck happened? I instantly freeze up and I'm like, wait, what? I get a look on my face of pure fear and worry because I'm like haven't seen me in years. Wait, we oh, just this mission. Oh, oh. Um Does... I'm gonna Does use ben... it one okay. more time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bias watching Ven with growing concern as she sees his growing and concern. And this is the last time I'm using sending. I'm gonna be like, what do you mean? You sent us to the capital recently. I have been captured by a green hag for 25 years. What do you mean? Oh, shit. I can't use sending again. Do I have a message? No, that, that, that wouldn't work. I'm going to grab my hand and be like, we've been... Zaya? Yeah? We might have gotten temporarily... Te we might have, might have gotten time forked. What do you mean, time? What do you mean? What did Your you say? Your grandfather was captured 25 years ago by a green hack. What? No, that's... That's not... Really... I have a feeling he's here, so we're going to rescue him and get this all out there, but we might have missed our little war thing. It might Wait. not matter anymore. DM, and when if it doesn't, we... I'm going to go berserk. When we saw... Which would explain why My I feel grandfather old. before the mission, did I ever get a clear sight of his eyes? Yes, you did. They were never gold? Nope. So, I'm gonna quick... 
You know what? I'll check something. I'm gonna pray for a second and be like, Hey, Black Ash, you there? <laughs> okay. I knew I know it'll piss him off, so he normally ignores you unless you piss him off. Oh god. So Wait. Logolith, are you there? Nothing happened. You black either. bastard. My eyes get wider, I'm like, shit, I'm gonna try praying to my other to to the old goddess then. My goddess of the goddess of time. I'm like, my lady, are you there? <laughs> Nothing happened. Two timer. Oh god. I'll reach out for any divine presence I can feel then. <laughs> All right. Oh, Let's no. see. Pick a number between. Oh, well, he walked off. I'll give him a moment. Well, I can use Avery for this one. Do do. When he gets back, give me a moment. This will be fun. What? Uh, does Nick Nash count as a divine presence? No, he does not. And uh, Withered, uh, as of right now, we are full. However, we will probably be opening up a spot on Grim Legacy here in the future, assuming they ever not they ever manage not to frighten away every single player I've ever had. <laughs> All right. Uh, what? Ven? Ven, you're back. Good. All right, Ven. Yes. I want you to roll a dice. One, roll 1d100. Um... Okay, let me get into Avery and do that real quick, because I was sitting on something else. Um, oh, God. Just exclamation mark R space I know. 1D100. I've been playing, I've been being my admin self. Oh. I hate D100s. 16! Alright, let's see. Let's go down to my list of gods and play Who Did You Find? This is not good. This is and a I'm game gonna be show. Asking, did the God War already fucking happen? <laughs> Alright, this is a new game show where we play How Fast Can Ven Get His Party Killed? One, two, three... What? Four, five, six, seven... Give me a moment, I've got to count properly. Eight, nine... There's a lot of gods. Ten... Uh, uh... <laughs> Who the All right. fuck did I get if you're laughing like that? I got myself. That's even fucking funny. No, gone no, is not. a god, and he got gone. All... No, gone is not oh, a god. No. Gone is not a god. Okay, good. Good. A woman's voice is heard. And she goes, "Why the fuck are one of the tall folks talking to me?" Wait, which god did I get? I I'm wondering. Do I recognize the voice? You've never heard this voice before. I'm gonna tentatively ask. Pardon the intrusion, I just have a question, because the god that I was serving seems to have fucking vanished. Pardon the language, did the god war already happen? What god war? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> My name what is Ben Zorwin, I'm an old fuck, I'm tired, I'm confused, and I'm very scared right now. Listen to me for one moment. Please. You're the man what is your name, dear god? You're really an asshole for a, for a mortal. No wonder your god yes. left you. No, my god was more of an asshole than I. He blackmailed me into serving him. Leave it at that. What the hell is wrong with this world? I think you've got the wrong There's number, fellow. Wrong. And you just hear a wrong. beep. <laughs> I try again, reaching for another god. Try to fight. Fucking what? It for me. what does it look like from the outside if I'm watching Ven? What does you this just scene see look ben like? You just arguing with himself. Face, face, in a face of constipation, too. I'm gonna look over at Cyrus the Captain and be like, This hasn't happened before, so I'm about as confused and concerned as you guys. 22! I'm gonna, I'm gonna anxiously look out the, the opening to see what's going on in the city and make sure Is we're not- Is the Green Dragon getting closer, by the way? No, he went back I'm towards not... the capital tower. Yeah. Um, I'm okay. About, like, the well, then I'm gonna, the I'm gonna stop, as I'm focusing to try and find another god. I'm gonna look and be like, just drag me along with you, carry me, whatever. I'm gonna try and find out what the fuck's going on. Well, so I'm gonna turn aside as a captain and be like, according to what Ven said, there might be a timeline issue where time travel may or may not have happened for at least me and him. So. Uh, I'm not sure what this means for you guys, since you're not from our world, but, uh... I'm gonna try to focus on finding them, uh, a specific god. 
Oh, all right. Which one? With that, I'm gonna try and find the god that I last heard, um, uh, being spoken about widely, which was the god of destruction. That jackass, yeah. That old fucker. That's the god I have the symbol of. Yeah, no, fuck that. I'm not trusting that. <laughs> I'm gonna look specifically try to feel out the one that tried to kill, you know, our old dwarf that I sold. You sold a dwarf? Uh, he was frozen as a statue. I stole him. And I sold him. And I stole him back. Ben disappears. Well, ben, fuck. you find yourself standing, well, floating in what looks to be a purple ooze. Before you stands what looks to be a human with purple skin, dark purple hair, and golden eyes. And he looks at you quizzically. He's about five foot tall, cleanly cut. I look at the golden eyes, and I'm simply like, are you a Rakshasa? I take it you're an idiot, but no, I'm not. My name is Kalthoon, the Destroyer. Okay, good. A god from the world I'm actually from. I've heard of you. There's a lot of questions and I need some answers and I'm willing to serve you for them because I need to know some things. I have no interest in gaining servants. Never have I. No, you're more of the guy who prefer, who's, who's scared of using his power sometimes. I get that, but could you please help me? What do you desire? There was supposed to be, a, there was foretold to be a god war. Yes, that And a is city correct. called Dragon... Has it happened? No, not that I know of. The High King still stands, from, so all predictions means that nothing has happened. Okay, good. That's one less thing to worry about. Now please, state the nature of your medical emergency. <laughs> <laughs> Other thing is, have you heard of a god called Lagoth? Yes, Lagoth. he once served me. Yeah, I remember that story going poorly for you. Because he's an asshole. Well, he blackmailed me into serving him, and now it seems he's poof vanished. That is, and may have he... taken my immortality with him. He has become the king of the liches in the lands far north, retiring to his bone fort. And he took my immortality with him, the fucker. You never were granted immortality. Oh, I, I got it a very, very poor way. No, no, that wasn't immortality. That was a god who refused to allow you to die because they were angry at you. Well, oh, damn. You still face death. Immortality doesn't allow you to, uh, to feel the pain of death. Huh. And that well, god still exists to this day, that they are still alive and they still hate you. Okay. Well, thank you for answering my questions. Um, one other thing. Yes. Um, this is merely just a question, but what stance do you have in the oncoming war? My brother and I have no interests in either side. However, as a mortal, I will give you this prophecy. One that your fr one of your friends has already seen. There will come a war, a clash between two. Legends shall be born and legends shall die. Those of the rejection and those of legacy will have to stand in the center of it. Should you win, one shall die. Should you lose, the world shall be shall fall to chains. Right. And with that, you find yourself standing in front of Captain Cyrus and Zaya once more. Well... Okay, we're You're not. You're back. We didn't what? Miss... What? What Kalthun happened? Answered... Where were you? Calthoon answered. Calthoon, oh, the one yeah. who almost killed us. Don't, don't question it. He's not that bad a guy. His followers are just assholes. Trust me, my god, the god that I was serving was an asshole. For... Was an asshole too. Uh. Okay, quick. <laughs> so, so let me get this straight. There might be something time going on. Nope. And... Nope. 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 Oh, okay. And nope, not that I'm he knows. Still, the, or if I'm there is, it's just... Whole world thing. <laughs> or if world there is, world. it's just based around her grandfather being a fucking moron or something. Do you think his mind was altered by magic or that, something? His voice sounded very old and withered, but 
he's just as old as I am, if not older. So, could be. Or he could have had time accelerated just for him. There's a myriad of answers in this goddamn world. Or the only was it your find... grandfather? Oh, no, it was it was him. I'm familiar enough. I adventured with the bastard through hell and back. So, well, the that's the side point. As you guys continue to talk, a purple man suddenly appears in front of you in a very nicely dressed suit with dark, deep purple hair and golden eyes, sitting at a chair oh, awesome. with a table in front of him with a nice red silk cloth across it. A tea I give him a slight up, bow. And he looks to you a lot and goes, Why, oh why do I always find myself being bothered by mortals, especially ones of not my world? As he looks to Cyrus and Captain. Those two weren't a part of this that was me. I apologize. Who are you? I just got very scared and very worried. Dennis is Calhoun. This is a god. You, okay. you be, be, be very respectful. He he is powerful. He's one of the old... Ben suddenly finds himself with a piece of iron stuck over his mouth and Calhoun, as Calhoun waves his hand and goes, uh. No, as the mortal was saying, I am someone you should know of. From your world, I'm one of the ones who fought against the dragons, or so that's what your world history would tell you. However, in your world history, I'm a little different, but that is of no concern. I've come to warn you. The one here, the pirate captain here, he is cursed by the same entity that curses your friend, the, uh, the old elf here. With the concept that he calls immortality, Captain... I believe your name is Ricard Bennett. Hi. Yes, you are cursed by the same god. Apparently, you two have some more in common than you know. Your half-elf ancestry is in question. And with that, I bid you adieu. And he vanishes as the iron plate vanishes uh off of Ben's mouth. I need to learn to shut up in front of gods that are that powerful. And the um, quick question. Yes. Uh, you had said before, w I'm not aware of the world merger, just Correct. the earthquakes and stuff that happened with it. Yep, you and Captain have no idea. Yes. That reminds me, what time of day is it? Uh, at this point, it's about 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, oh, wait, what looks now? like we're not going to get Yep. Is when did nighttime happen? When you guys went and passed the out. I'm going to simply say, well, let's let you go finish the rest. I'll keep, I'm going to rest again so I can get the spells I use to contact her grandfather back, and then we can try and storm the castle. What? Okay. What, we just storm the castle? We need a better plan than that. There are hags and undead. The, there's a dragon. The undead leave to me. Trust but me on this. There's a dragon and there's Rakshasa everywhere. We need a game plan. We're going to die. The game now. plan is to get the dragon to attack them. I'm not so sure. A dragon will just. I don't. Oh, oh, trust me. If it's trying to hit me, it'll get everybody. Just stay away from you. What when about I do this. the oncoming army? I still think they are. Of they're going to be falling into the river for a while. Trust me. That, that, I think that poison eats away at the flesh, so they're going to be skeletons by the time they get here. And if they do get here, we'll see them and hear them. I peek out towards the river, by the way, when I say that, to see if the undead are still piling in. Nope, the zombie horde has moved on to something else that they're chasing. Yeah, they're gone. Uh, Captain, can, can you look out and see if the the armada has made any kind of... Uh, anything but new with them? we need to be worried about two uh, things right now. Getting into the castle, searching around, and what we were sent here to do. That's there could be temper and... and temple. It's two to me because one of those things you don't have to worry as much about because I'm going to be causing a big distraction. I pull what? out the telescope and check for the armada. As you look off in the distance, you can see they haven't moved. It's still at port. waiting for a headway. signal. Yeah, it's still at port from what you can see. No, no ships have moved. Uh, the only thing that seems to have moved are some of the crewmates seem to be moving about like normal. Yeah. If have you made any Captain... comment towards my black ring eye? No. No. None of us will. No, and apparently I have one too. I'll make the comment towards the one on Zaya, though. Be like, what the hell happened to your eye? Who punched you? I don't. This is not the time. Captain, if you look at the castle with that telescope, are you able to see into it, or is it all blurry? We need to know the layout if we're going to try to invade. 
Because I, I believe we should do so stealthily. Pierso at the castle. As you look towards the castle, the uh, telescope in question adjusts automatically and starts to, and you can see the castle clearly. The roof has been blown up uh, from what looks to be, as you look towards closer at the detail, it seems to be uh, blown off with some sort of acidicness, um, as the wall at the top seems to have melted rather than been burnt or um, crashed through. You can see what looks to be from the lighting inside, a lot of action is going on. Uh, on the occasion, you'll see uh, acid spouting onto the walls um, as you watch it melt through some pieces of the wall. It seems to be there's something going on in the capital castle. Well, the roof is an entry point, but it uh, seems like it wasn't just blown off with some sort of explosive or brute force. It seems like no. there's something pretty residue. Given what we saw flying, that was a green dragon. Acid. That's going to be very dangerous for everybody. Let me and think. There's quite a yeah. bit going on inside. I think there might be some fighting. So if there's still a battle, that'd be a distraction. But if we get caught in the middle of that, that's, that's certain death, surely. I don't know what that dog or creature the Goliath were, but I, I can't imagine they're We're not going to worry about that. Let's just you try and hit worry. right in. No, what uh, are trying to get? Where you guys are trying to get? I guess we might as well join yeah, you guys. Yeah, DM, did, the, did my grandfather say where exactly in the castle the items were held? He said the catacombs. Oh, the catacombs. So we're going below the castle anyways, so if we sneak through, I'm not going to be that stealthy. Is there a sewer system so... or something that I would know about that we could get into the catacombs through there? Being born of noble birth? You have no idea. What I know. Okay, what about me? Captain, the you've never been here, and Ven, you're not the type to go swimming through sewers. <laughs> no, but I'm the type to fuck people that go swimming through sewers. That I believe. <laughs> um, can I make a perception check to see if there's any sewer entrances yes. nearby? Sure. Okay. So, since I'm a noble, would I know of anything in the castle, like any rumors about secret passages, secret tunnels? Oh, there's an entrance uh, at, in the main keep uh, that goes straight down to the catacombs. It's completely unguarded, typically. I, and the main uh, keep is where we saw the fighting happening? Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Uh, yes, let's just go the easiest route, the one we know. Yes, searching Captain? is going to waste What'd more time. Get? I got 15. As you look about, you do see a couple holes in the ground as you look through the streets. That seems to be where the green hags are coming out of. Oh... It's also at that point you notice that there's something climbing on the walls. A very tiny something. Uh -oh. Can I discern what it is? Uh, as you look it up and down, it looks like a spiked creature with uh, pink flesh and a very wide uh, angled mouth. It has three prongs of toes each with a claw on its own, and seems to have weird, fleshy bits of hair coming off of it. Ew. Wait, is this the... Okay, it's not the chameleon. Unless the chameleon's been through some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if it was the chameleon, I'd say, let's use it to our advantage, walk in there and say, enemy petrification. At the mention of the chameleon, you hear bonification off in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And Cyrus and Captain are completely lost on what that means. Uh, I, I hear that. I hear that. And I, I look around like, wait, we could use him. No, Come here, don't, teleportation. Don't. We already have enough to deal with. Nothing happens. <laughs> oh, so, do he, I hmm? see the creature? You do not. He is still far off in the distance. Uh, Captain, yeah, I've been using the telescope the whole time. But it is coming uh, straight towards you, Captain. As you start to get a better look at it, you recognize this as something... You've seen this once before uh, when you've been through your travels. It's a very rare creature that uh, happens to haunt some of the more abandoned I uh, islands. They're known as abyssal chickens. Oh. <laughs> Wait, can I... What, what, do you, what do you see, Ben? Um, what do you see? And where you see one, you now see two. What do you see? Have you ever heard of an abyssal chicken? Yes, I have. They're very good have fry. I? DM, have I heard you of an abyssal not. chicken? They are not native to your guys' plane. 
What? No, but Vent's been traveling what? through the planes before. No, this is from their planet specifically. Oh. An abyssal what now? I've heard of a chicken that's delicious fried baked and covered in sauce, so this must okay, be the same you thing. don't want to eat this one. Um, yeah, but there are like abyssal creatures coming this way. As you see, uh, as you look and you saw two, now you are seeing over ten. The number seems to expand. You see twenty. Well, let's move. get going then. Slowly are, are it grows they... to forty, and they are charging your way on the walls. They're flying right. at us. Nope, they are not flying. They are running. We need. How to go. far away are they? They're, they're drawing very close. They're you. From what you guess, you they're about five minutes away, running down these walls. So okay, let's how go. many feet away? Far enough to where was... you need to be worried. Not knowing. Wait, wait, are they within 300 feet? Yes. Uh, yeah. can I? <laughs> let's move. Yeah, I don't let's waste this. run. But while we're running, could I? Oh uh, no! Do how much attention do we want to draw to ourselves at this point? Just chick run. The chickens are coming faster. They're now 200 feet away. Because I can away. call lightning them. I Start moving. Just run! And I drag Zaya away. away. I start dragging Zaya. No, As don't drag! I'm running already! Rape your house! Follow Cyrus. As you guys begin to run, the chickens seem to overwhelm the tower, chewing down the uh, into the brick and biting on everything. As you guys get far enough away, the chickens seem to leave you alone as they seem to munch and eat and devour the tower top that you guys were laying in. Nothing is left but a horde of failed hungry. chickens. If yeah. I had fire magic, I'd say let's cook them. Cost me this. If... You don't. Well, I do, do they, do they but... seem passive now, or just they don't notice us anymore? They don't seem to be paying attention to you. They are blind, though, by the looks of it. They aren't seeming to f see you outright. Well, okay, let's get moving towards smell. the castle. I just start walk walking towards the castle nonchalantly. I'm like, I going to here. cast invisibility on myself before we go in. Okay. So I'm hidden while we, and I'm gonna try to sneak into the city and not just, well, not nope, I'm walking walk like in I belong like here. Can I I'm walking like stealth? I belong here. Captain? Did, uh, guys, roll for stealth. Yep. Cyrus? Yeah. Did we get a long rest in then? Yes, or not? you did. Yeah. Do I get advantage on stealth because of invisibility or no? Uh, can I get another? Sure. Right? sure. Two third level I'll slots. see you. <laughs> slots. Uh, we'll try to stealth too. Does a 25 work? No. Yeah, everyone sees you. They all now... 20. In fact, you scored so badly they can all see through the clothing you're wearing. <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, if... No! Anything, Shut up! If I try to roll stealth or anything, it's gonna be a disadvantage, so I'm not well, even gonna Everyone bother. can just... avoid Ven, and he can be in our distraction as he charges way ahead nope. of the group. I'm not charging, I'm just walking in nonchalantly like I belong here. I look old enough anyways. I got one of your uh, natural 20s, Zaya. Nice, there we oh, go. Yeah, wonderful. All right. I never get them. <laughs> So as you guys begin to walk through the city, seeing the damages, you can hear off in the distance the roar of what sounds to be a very large creature. Uh, the stomping of feet and the walking away as lightning seems to shoot into the sky. And then it goes qu eerily quiet as it looks like the green hags are avoiding that portion of the city. You come across a portion of the town where... Uh, what looks to be a small little town gathering area um, in the midst of the blocks of uh, the many suburbs of this giant city. A what looks to be a very green and purplish splotch just on the center. There seems to be pieces of what looks to be a freshy frog leg uh, kind of flopping about and a long wooden stick. Yummy. Well, I'm avoiding that puddle. I walk around it. <laughs> Continuing yeah. on. Towards the center of the city, the green hags seem to completely ignore Ven. One of them winks at him at one point, but most of them kind of just ignore him. The zombies have no interest, and the wormlings seem too distracted as they're running towards the center of the city. If if I had any meat, I'd toss it down for the wormlings. Uh, continuing your walk, uh, you can see that there's buildings that have collapsed, been uh, with dragon scales having fallen, massive pieces of scale that have fallen to the ground. Um, Can I pick one up and use it as a shield? <laughs> give me a strength check. You know what? I will. <laughs> strength. Be good. Oh my god. What'd you get? Nat 20, so 24. Alright. 
Why is everyone getting net 20? <laughs> Thank you, Beyond Die! We're not in the dragon fight. We're all getting net 20s. Wonderful. You, you're gonna wish you had it later. Give me a moment to grab the shield. I haven't gotten one yet. Maybe I'm saving it. Hopefully. I'm ph photographing this and something and thing that way. Don't care. I'm at least photographing it. I'll send it to Ever. That way it knows that this thing actually rolls 20s. <laughs> Alright, I added the item to your inventory. Oh, oops, I accidentally added it to Captain Picard. My, or Ricard. My bad. <laughs> Let me take that off it's of you, buddy. Okay. I'll take no, no, it's okay. Wait, oh, did it not pop? Wait, it didn't pop up. Oh, I have to refresh, that's why. Give me a moment. Let me just delete that off of you, because you don't need to see what that is. It's it's nothing of uh, import. There we go. Let me use the actual. Looking, 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 looking. It's gone. Uh... Sure. Let me actually get the proper shield here, because uh, I've got to now get Ven's character sheet up. And I'm totally not drawing <laughs> for time as I fluff about talking, because that's not at all how I do things. <laughs> um, not so whatever. Hey, cool, a Deathbringer short sword. Not what I need. Okay, there we go. Oh, let me make sure I've got the right one, because I misspelled. God damn it. Where? There it is. <laughs> All right, um, there we go. Let me just make sure that's all set up. And then it'll be in your character sheet two seconds from now. As Snicknesh continues to roar off in the distance. Um, the eerily... Snicknesh is the dragon? No, but he does sound like one to all of you. Um, I so... swear to God, that sounds like the moron I was stuck with when I was working with him. Uh... Um, uh, fuck. <laughs> Well, that'd be accurate. The tiniest for you. dragons. <laughs> there you go. All right. Yes, you now have it. Uh, then it is now in your inventory. There you go. Okay. So as you pick it up, walk, continuing to walk through the territories or the area, it seems that most of the green hags have taken up residence in what used to be the houses. Uh, most of the zombies are of what looks to be different types of tieflings. Zai, you recognize a few noblemen here and there. As you guys do pass, though, uh, the center portion where you see this gooey spot from earlier, realizing you're somewhat lost, not knowing the city's layout very well, and that most many alleys and streets have been blocked off, you do finally notice something. There's an old man just laying in a broken-up house. Very old tiefling, who seems to have what looks to be some sort of shielding spell uh, right above his head. Wait, we see who? A very old tiefling who seems to be just staring, standing in, or laying in a house that has been blown to hell and looks to have been crushed by giants. Do I recognize him? You do. This looks Is like it Zaya's grandfather. This looks like Blenton. Wait. Blenton, Blenton, Blenton is her grand. Yes, that's her grandfather. Do I see him? Yes. No? I'm gonna put my hand on my face and be like, God. And he looks ancient, like he looks like he's in bad shape. As much of his uh, body has been is withered away. There's barely any fat or muscle left on him. Spells. Is he dying or is he dead? He's not dead. You still see his chest is rising up and down. Do, I'm gonna do go I over send... to him and use and use the cantrip spare the dying. He looks up at you and goes, "You assholes! What did you do? <laughs> we just got here." Who what? is this? This is my grandfather, I say, invisible. <laughs> Zaya! Yeah. Like shit. Fuck you! Zaya's here, she's... You piece I look of at Ben, it's like, you were just talking to him, weren't you? No, so, I am. Sending. Yeah, I know, but I'm in for sending. <laughs> yes. How I... did you get so fucking old? What are you talking about? I've always been old. I've been st I got kidnapped by a damn green hag when I was trying to resurrect Tikva. Damn little Wait. shit caught me. Wait, what? Grandfather, uh, we you saw you in Tikva uh, a while recently. ago. You, Tikva's you sent us on this mission. still dead, you idiot of a granddaughter. I knew I should have killed you when I had the chance. I'm gonna flick him in the forehead. I will end you and your brood. He looks at Captain Ricard's general direction. Leave the half-elf out of this for one. For two, look me in the eyes. Yes, you're still as ugly as I remember. We can Shut up for that. a minute and look me in the eyes and listen, you old fart. 
What do you want? You just sent us on this mission here to I collect some items. Let me you. finish. If you interrupt me, I will swear to God I will take your head and use it to scare the goddamn dragons away. I haven't seen you in like 50 years. I don't even know what you're talking about. Is this an alternate so, timeline? Did Zilpip fuck something up? What the mission? fuck? Useless to the people who send us on this. If they're not, if he's not actually my grandfather, then who are we gonna be taking these items to? Enemies? What Rakshasa? items? Don't worry about it right now. What items are you talking about? Take the ones down. in the catacombs. What items are in the catacombs? I... An or a giant gem, from what I remember, or or something Friday. shiny, and a crown. Are you an idiot, Donner? I Apparently, yeah, those items have been got lost to us for ages. No one knows where those are at. Well, we're Can gonna I go check the catacombs make... then. No, uh, Ven, if if do you have any spells that could end curses or restore things? Maybe I he's been cursed. Try one thing, but it's not gonna. Curse. It's not promised what to do What kind of moron gets cursed? I am a silver song. Do you know how yeah, many people are destroyed and dying? That's because you and your damn cousin were useless, and Zarus got sold off to some dwarven bastard. Yes, wait. well, looks wait like minute, I'm at wait least a minute, still wait a minute. functional. I'm gonna try and sense the entire area's magic field. I want to try to do an arcana check on him and see if I sense anything like. Curse. I'm just trying to sense and see okay. if there was temporal magic cast. There was not. Oh. Huh. I got a 10 for a so I don't sense, the sense general. anything. There, is, there seems to be a ritual on what looks to be a table that you can see uh, right beside him that was drawn, and you recognize it as a polymorph ritual. Um, you also notice there is a chair that has teeth and is laughing. All right, Wait. well, there's a polymorph I'm going to go to that chair and table. ask it a question. I'm going to look at the chair and be like, did you do this? It doesn't answer. It just continues to laugh. I'm gonna... Polymorph. I polymorph? Have Wait, I look yeah. at the polymorph ritual next and it's like, does anybody else, can anybody else use this to see if it was used recently? Yeah, Cyrus, can I've you look into it? Captain, yep. has, Captain said he had matches. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can burn the laughing chair, I don't care. It might be fun burn to take chair, this burn the chair, burn your grandfather. Wait, Apparently I'm going to take the chair to the dragon. What's going on. I'm gonna take the laughing chair to the dragon. Okay, uh, Cyrus. I, I'm p picking um, it up and putting it in the back holding. What do you? What type of? What are you looking for specifically? Um, I oh, guess I'm trying to figure really out what this chair is actually. It's a mimic. <laughs> it's That's pretty. It's pretty obviously a real a lesser mimic. We should... I'm gonna put the mimic in my oversized bag of holding. It bites your hand. You take. I don't Polymorph? care. One the exact uh, three people or just creatures? Uh, what? Do I know if the polymorph spell could be j like exact people mm -hmm. or just creatures? Okay, it cannot so be this... used on people. That is no. Okay, so there's no way this is someone impersonating my grandfather. No. And he's got okay, the same attitude. Beat up the you table. Remember. You do remember yeah, that the... he had this kind of attitude when last time you yeah, saw him. I, I don't like. I don't get along with my grandfather. But, uh, Wait, could the there table... be two of them? Due to the separate worlds, could there be Can a we... version of are you there and a version two of here? me? You ugly bastard, are you going senile? You've been senile since I met you. That happened once, her name was Velvet. <laughs> <laughs> it happened twice, Velvet and Shamir. I don't remember Shamir. <laughs> what happened to the right. giant green dog, the... Oversized lizard and the ugly little human. Did we what? just saw. The, do you know who they are? I don't know, but the human tried to fuck a dragon with leather. I that it was disturbing. I'm gonna be honest with that you. That might be did what's they, going on. What up at the castle right now? Did they put that polymorph ritual on the table? No, you idiot! It was the green hag. I already told Ven this. Can we oh, wait, destroy the wait, table wait, 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 then? Destroy wait, wait, wait. the Jenny? polymorph ritual. Does she look like Jenny? I don't know who Jenny is. I'm still trying uh, to figure out why you have a half uh, a half elf bastard here. You racist. He's adopted. Leave it at that. 
He looks at Ricard He's and not goes, your son. You know what? You look just like Ven. I'm sorry. He's calling you ugly. Fuck <laughs> you. You know Can what? We just, In just my day, we didn't we didn't mate with other uh, races. That we just killed them, and we put down any you half breeds. Um, yeah, that's that a lion. So well. I fucked many humans. What'd you, you say, fucked Captain? many elves. I said I draw one of my fucking swords and I point it towards him. Boy, I go over to, I go to Captain Alec and be like, "Don't kill him." Boy, if you I need cool, him alive, if only because he that, might be useful. Boy, and besides that, if anything else, we can feed him to the dragon. I will slaughter you. I promise. Do not make me get up, Captain. Deal with Hold the table. On, There's push. a polymorph spell on it. I feel like it should be dealt with. I put a match on the table. Just light lit? the table on fire. The okay. table lights and it smells of burning oak. Well, well, now we've uh, attracted attention. Let's go. <laughs> yep, let's Don't just leave your me here. and I'll be more delicate next time. I, 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 I just, I just usher him out. I, I look at him and be like, ignore him. He's lying when he says he didn't use. To fuck other races, he's fucked elves, dwarves, and humans. You ugly as well as bastards. As well as Ven, once we... he fucked Ven, a rhinoceros. Can... Oh my! I didn't need to. Ven, can you just drag him out of the building so he doesn't suffocate from smoke? Zaya, you Fine. are a worthless pain. I go out ass. and I start dragging. I go out and I grab and I start dragging him with us. Ah, uh, well, I'm worthless, but at least I haven't been captured by a hag yet. Yes, well, your mother was a whore, and your father smelled of elderberries every evening. <laughs> uh, You're, you were well, a man whore. What are you trying to say here? Tieflings get fucked and fucked more than any other race, even me. Grandfather, I can safely say it seems to run in our family. And I just kind of, he can't see me, but I'm glaring at him. <laughs> Says the woman who obviously got tricked by a damn Rakshasa. What kind of silver song lets that happen? I'm the uh, raven song. Your mother was a whore. So were oh, you. She was. But at least she wasn't I'm just because doing... You're not even a real you. silver song. You know that. Can, can I knock him out? You can try. Let can him I'm keep talking. Into... <laughs> Captain. You, wait, no, no. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I, have, I think I have something I can do here. I You're think not, I, have I have the butt of my fucking cutlass. You're not an actual no, no. silver song, you little regret. No, Your no, mother this, this is, screwed this is something a lowling. I'm gonna whisper. I'm gonna whisper in Zai's ear. Just use cutting word. It'll insult him more, and it might make him shut the fuck up. I have no need. If he thinks his words have hurt me any more than this adventure has, any more than what I've been through, then he is more of a fool than I can imagine. I'm just gonna keep dragging him with us as we walk towards the Capitol building. I'm gonna be like, you know I've... what? Let's just feed him to the dragon. I'm tired of his shit. He might be an old friend, but he's being a. So, dick. grandfather, you say Tikva isn't alive. You say she is dead. Yes, I made sure she was. Then I have no reason to to associate you with alive. you anymore. And, and I'll leave. Dwarven brother lover is gonna be next on my list. I guarantee that. I would like to hit the old man with the butt of my sword. Leave him nope. in the building. Nope, nope, I'm dragging him to the dragon. He's gonna make a good distraction. Okay, cool, but I'm still gonna shut him up. No, 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 no. Let, let him keep talking. It'll just make more ruckus, and then It'll we'll get attract there, attention. Like, we can just be like, we're taking this to the dragon. Give me an athletics check, please, Ven. Just okay. leave the man to suffocate. Athletics is a plus seven. Seventeen. And he pulls his hand away from you and says, You don't touch me, you worthless pain in the ass. You left me in those okay. mines. Oh, what mines? I will take care of myself. As he stands up, kind of wobbly. You ugly bastard. First the low You're ugly as me with your damn horns. A lowland runt, and now I gotta I'm deal gonna with halflings. <laughs> I'll roll to hit as well at this point, because he's pissing me off. Zaya's just... Zaya's looking at her enemy. She sword. doesn't care. He looks to both of you as uh, for his reaction, and he throws what looks to be a silver liquid out of a uh, out of a small little bag that you finally notice on his pocket or on his hip. Um, reaction to that to cast a spell. That's fine. Um, I just gotta find it. Gust of wind. 
Okay. It's going to blow. I'm blowing it straight towards him so that the stuff that he threw at us goes back at him. Whoosh. It does not. It, it seems too heavy as it flies straight at you. It would. It can blow. Let me double check this. Um, uh, it must succeed a strength save. He also must succeed a strength Wait. save throw or be pushed 15 feet away. Oh, Cyrus. Gust of wind. <laughs> Cyrus, you asshole. Okay. <laughs> what do you do? He did coronal shit. Okay. You, um, you, you just see Cyrus like wave his hand. Uh, actually, is it? I don't know if it's just an ability. All right. But yeah. So whatever, whatever initial roll you would have done, um, yeah, you basically have to re-roll it. Is okay. really all it does. Gust of wind is a strike second. saving throw in this case. Not you, versus gas, vapors, or extinguished candle absorption. The old man misses his pocket and uh, seems to move, and his hand does not go into it or into the bag. Oh, can we grab the... It to bonk him on the head. It does, as he's wearing no armor. Okay, so Take I bonk him on the head. Roll damage, Captain. Want... Um, what would, like, the butt of my sword be? Cause It'd it's still not... be the same damage, it's just non-lethal. Oh, yep. okay. Um, in that case, it's 1d6. That is two damage to the top of his head. He falls over unconscious, landing on his bag. I I'm pick gonna him pick up. him up and just carry him. Oh, Can we he's take, make the, good take the bag off of him? Because whatever it is seems important, and we don't want him in possession of it. I put the yep. bag in my bag of holding. Okay. <laughs> hey, right. should we put my bag of holding in your bag of holding? No. Yes. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> we'll do that for the dragon. Just that open up first. Universes. <laughs> oh my god. That's fine. They're already linked. It'd be fun. Oh god. Oh. Anyways, I start carrying the senile old man. Okay. I help him. <coughs> and if any green hags come along, I, I just, I use his arm to wave at them. Like he's flirting <laughs> with them. Okay. So that has been added. Um, okay. All right, Captain, I added what you just put in your bag of holding. It says a note on your bag of holding. All right, cool. and as you guys begin to carry him, you feel that he is extremely light. In fact, he probably only weighs about 100 pounds himself. Uh, as oh, he's shit, old. I can carry him by myself. Willowy oh, at this point. As you guys begin to walk, uh, heading towards the center capital, the DM takes a restroom break and comes back in uh, two minutes. Yay. Lovely. Okay, so the plan is My to grandfather is a sacrifice. I'm gonna, what I'm, no, what I'm going to do is we're going to toss him in, I'm going to resurrect him, and then I'm just going to walk past him and be like, here you go, have fun. Short, here now. short recap for the play, the new players. Zaya didn't get along with her family, even the apparently fake grandfather she didn't get along with. She only cared about Zaya, I mean, not Zaya, about Tikva. If Tikva isn't alive, Zaya says, screw it, her grandfather can die. <laughs> Okay. And meanwhile, I do have an okay relationship with him. We insult each other like friends, but at this point, uh, he's being too much of a dick. Yeah, no, he, uh, he, he's not nice. He's not nice, apparently. I think I refer the Rakshasa to him, which is saying but, something. But, 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 one other thing, Ben does love to tell stories about what they have, what maidens they have conquered together. More than the stories yeah. of what they fought together. Oh, guys, the bag he had was just a bag of mercury. Uh, oh, that's fine. So well, you would have had a little bit of metal on you. <laughs> well, there's no toxic. saying he it's doesn't acidic. have a spell. Yeah, it's acidic, no... so we can use that. That might be useful for melting if the lock If he puts metal on you and then does something like heat metal, he could have done something, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But so no, it's, it's better he doesn't that's... have it. Because we can put that on something that I can hit with an ice spell, and guess what? It'll freeze it, and that's going to... Slow, slow movement for at least a if few anyone's seconds. Anyone's got heat metal? I'm just saying that uh, it'd work. I don't have any yeah. magic because Ricard does not believe in magic. So, I'm well, gonna look at Ricard carrying. I'm literally I, uh, invisible right like, now. <laughs> then I'm literally used to not actually be a cleric. Then used to be a fighter. Really? No. Yeah. Yes. He get died, then got brought back in someone else's body. Who? <laughs> Huh. So he became a cleric. Zaya's always been a bard. And her family hates her, but she hates them more, so everything's fine. I mean, 
And speaking yeah, of which, yeah, brother really hates her. Captain, as you pull on the tiefling, he smells of what uh, you can only describe as swamp. Smell and Gross. mixed with sweat. Wait, do I do I smell this as well, being nearby? Yes. I'm really like, he fucked the hag. Last thing you catch a whiff of is rat droppings. He fucked the hag. And he fucked a rat too. Damn. I. I... I, I gotta oh give my props God. for that. expectations of my family to begin with. I gotta give him props for that. If he managed to do it to a rat, good on him. Uh, as you guys continue walking, uh, he heading towards the center <laughs> capital, you can finally, after about an hour's worth of travel, now being around nine-ish uh, due to the amount of time you spent dealing with the old man, Finally arriving, you see that there is what looks to be another interesting item before going into the cap or into the keep. You see a very leathery green leathery skeleton sitting on the stairs. Just staring. I'm gonna go up to it, stare at it, no, look it right no. in the eyes and say, What the fuck are you? I'm not I'm gonna hang back. Yeah, I'm hanging Far back also. Far it, back. It touches Ven's face. Then your face begins to feel. Well, you feel your skin start to decay. I pull away immediately and tap my face and cure wounds. <laughs> Level one. All right. Go ahead and roll for healing on that. How much damage did he do? Ben has no idea. Ben just felt it his just face start to melt. Him into, like, yeah, it just yeah, started turning him like an undead. A creature just puts decayed. his hand back down and just sits there staring. As you look it okay, in the face, there seven. are no eyes, there are no there's no mouth, there's no nose, it's just a skull covered in green leathery skin. Okay, I healed seven. Is I'm assuming I don't recognize it? this at all nope. from anywhere. But you do, do feel you your necklace jingling. The the one in my bag with the yep. skull and crossbones? Mm-hmm. Oh. Put do Cyrus the captain recognize now? this then? Nope. Yeah, do we recognize it? No. Nope. I've never does. seen a creature like this before. Is it undead? You don't know. It's well, not I'm going to ignore it and continue on, because it's ignoring me now. And after okay. healing my face, I'm moving on. Okay. I have a feeling it won't let you pass. As you I just walk, walk past. As you walk past, it doesn't do anything. Uh, I, get, I offer it a wave. Sorry about bothering you. Okay. Is, nice do you have to walk past? Like, how close do you have to walk past it? Like, can I walk widely around it and sneak yeah, the up stairs the stairs? Yeah, stairs are pretty wide. I mean, this thing's just sitting sitting in the center. There's nothing really that's. It's not moving. And it doesn't seem to even track you. It doesn't have anything on it. Nothing. Mm -mm. No items. Okay, then anything. I'm gonna avoid it and still invisible. Sneakily sneak my way up. Okay. Sneakily sneak. Good job. Yes. All right. I yeah. don't like this. Yes, sir. Oh, I'll give it wide berth. Okay. Captain. Someone poke it with a stick. Um. Being a pirate, I want to look a little closer to make sure he doesn't actually have anything. Okay, give me a perception <laughs> check. Uh, fourteen. All right. As you get up close enough to look around, you do notice he has a belt on him that catches your eye. Wait. It's got a Damn, gold you said it's been on. an hour. Mm-hmm. Oh, then I'm not my visibility's ended. Yeah. No one's no, <laughs> I'm still sneaking. I would yeah. like to set Nothing the cares. old man down, then chop off the corpse's arms. Alright, make an attack. See if you can hit it. Does an oh. eighteen hit a, a motionless object? It does. Well and he is motion. As soon as you do, your sword shatters. Mother fucker. Its head, or so to speak, what it you identify as it head, its head looks up at you. And it begins Don't look to at me. stand. It's now, from what you can tell, clearly seven feet tall and seems to keep er, growing as it's get standing up. Its legs growing longer, its arms becoming more wiry. I pick up the old man and start to move past it so I can head up the stairs and join the party. It you couldn't just leave it alone. It begins to slowly follow you. Well, good. More distraction. 
If it's undead, then can you do something about it? Nope. It continues DM? to slowly follow, Captain. Yes. Would I be able to do something about it? I, I, Sneak, what, what something? Stealth. Hide. <laughs> what is your thought process? I, I'm, ha I'm always up for hearing a plan. I'm not exactly living. Yeah, I know. I mean, it doesn't. Mercury it doesn't seem like it's interested in that, though. It's interesting. Only it's because I have the freaking it. old man with me, I'm gonna ignore it and then just keep going. Ugh. It continues. Leave it. To follow. Leave. Sacrifice the old man to him. <laughs> oh, thank you for the raid, by the way, Mezimont. I appreciate oh, it. That's my first raid of seven people. Uh, all right. Wow. Twitch raid. Um, all right. So as you uh, continue walking off, the creature seems to follow you. Oh, you guided well, that right here. Thank you, Pikachu. Well, Do I still at least have the handle of my broken cutlass? Oh, yes. And Cyrus, what's up? Ben, don't you have mending or something? I do, but he'd need all the pieces. So what are we going to do with our new friend here? <laughs> we'll name him, and we'll, us. him and, we'll feed him, and we'll feed him people we don't like. It continues to slowly follow Captain, even when Captain tries to stealth. So does it just seem like to be following Captain? Like it doesn't seem to have any other sentience or like okay. any other thoughts? Just um, I hand off the old man to one of the party members. Is it possible for me to jump off of the stairs back down to the ground? Yeah, you you figure you could probably get with a good acrobats or athletics. All right, gotta do that. Okay, I don't take my grandfather. I'll take him. That would be a nat twenty, good sir. Okay. What the heck? As right. you um go or as you go to jump, the creature seems to continue following you. Just me. Yep. Good. Okay. Um, first off, I'd like to pick up the broken pieces of my sword. And put that in my bag. All right, running back up towards the stairs to pick them up. You managed to pick up enough before it gets close enough to be a worry. Good. Uh, so I, I did get all the pieces. Yep. Sweet. Um, I'm gonna see if I can try to find another entrance to the building so I can keep him away from the Wait, party. Um. No, bring him in the front door. Oh boy. I could try to do something, although I'm not sure. You bring him in the front door and I use my thing it. and make him run, then we're set. I'm just not using any abilities now because we're not in the front fucking door. I was going to say, we're, that entrance wasn't the front door. Damn. We're the entrance sure you guys was. were going towards was the front door of the keep. Yes. Oh, I don't know if I want to go through the front door either. <laughs> Well, if he Are there any side in, passages I know about? You do not. And what, Cyrus? I was going to say, if he's not doing anything else but following you slowly, let's get him somewhere where we're not exposed and try to deal with him. I don't want to kill this thing. It can help faces. No. That's my well, bread and butter. You don't take away Vin's bread and butter. It's following us, so I don't think we're going to have a choice. It's following. It's following me. But do you attack it, this? So it's probably hostile. Um, Captain, as you turn to look and... back at it, you suddenly yeah. notice something about the body as the, uh, it seems to shift and change into different pieces. Oh, here, one sec. For those who are big on, who want to watch uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke's uh, and are interested in checking that out, that's for my sessions, that's on Wednesday. You can come uh, check out the stream on Wednesdays at 9 a.m. PST to 11 uh, a.m. PST for uh, Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. Thank you. Um, all right, so as I was saying, um, yeah, as you start to stare at the body, you notice that the creature seems to start to, uh, the body starts to kind of wiggle in unusual forms. The pieces of its stomach starts to expand and then push back in. The arms start to kind of move in jagged patterns. Suddenly you see two, three, four, five, about six different creatures seem to melt out of it. <laughs> No, I do uh, it on Wednesday's turn. And as you look upon, you recognize these six creatures as different hags. Everyone roll I initiative. Look, oh, I great. Look back and I, do, do I recognize <laughs> any of the hags? You do not. 
So... I would like to take this moment to fucking apologize. I point at a random one and I say, Barsa, that's where you went! Uh, well, no, I'm my first nat 20 <laughs> since nice. forever. Right. Well, I guess this is a fight. Guess it's better than nothing. Yeah, but a nat uh, 20 in initiative 17. doesn't matter. Yep. Oops, where's my initiative? Just means highest number I could possibly get. Initiative is beside your armor class if you're looking at the Ah, page. yes, thank you. Uh, with that, then I am at a 15 for my initiative. <laughs> I rolled a 17. Nice. Uh, Cyrus? Yep. Rolled a 9. What? Oh, rolled a 9. Okay. Didn't see oh, it. Oh, 20. 28? 20. 20, okay. Alright. Let us begin. Zaya, you are up first as you see these six hags pop out. The last thing you notice is that there is a small chicken that seems to be running about now as well. God, is it right. uh, the hags, do they all look like the green hags we've been seeing, or are they like all different types? Uh, they all look like different types. Only one do you recognize as a green hag. Uh, I don't I know much about hags. Bertha! Finally! Okay. Well, how far away from me are they? Uh, they are about twenty feet in front of you. Twenty feet. How close are they? I'm assuming they're. They're how all close within. Are they yeah, they're everyone? all within a few feet, uh, feet of each other. It's really close. How close are they to my other party members? They're like uh, five feet away from me. Yeah, they're not very far from Captain, and the rest okay. of you are about the same ratio. I gotta be mindful of that then. <laughs> You can do whatever you need to do. I will get the fuck out of Dodge pretty quick. Well, actually, not really that quick, as there are other things that go before him. <laughs> You're screwed. Shut the hell up. Okay. You have angered the DM. He thought he would kill me first. Ha! He is fool. I <laughs> want to cast... So wait, uh... Cyrus and Ven, are they directly in front of me, or are they Beside off to you. the side of me? Okay, so if, if a 30-foot cone from myself, they would be out of the way? Oh, uh, yeah. Then I want to <laughs> cast Psionic Blast towards the hags and Captain. I'm, a, I'm hoping as a rogue he'll be fine, and it's a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, it's, <laughs> they take 5d8 force damage, are pushed 20 feet away, and knocked prone on a successful half as much, and aren't pushed or knocked prone. And the DC is 15. Whoa. I'm almost done. Oh, so, so far only one saved. There we go. So, how, so that's all of them? Yep. Wait, I... Then only one saved, so I'll roll the... They take... The one that succeeded takes half of this damage and isn't yep. pushed or knocked prone. The rest are pushed 20 feet directly away and knocked prone on top of the full damage. Do I need a roll? Uh, yes. Yeah, you're in the way. Oh, sweet. Two eights and a seven. 16 plus four is a combined 20. All right, nice job. Yeah, you succeed. Okay. Yeah, so... so... 31 points of damage to everyone but the, I believe it was the Anis Hag that made it. It's take half. The green hag, okay. So. And it's, um, I don't know if it matters, but it's a mental power, mm -hmm. is what the spell describes yeah, it. Yes, I okay. got it. Yeah, you're good. With uncanny dodge, do you're fine. I take, oh. so I take no damage? Uh, with uncanny dodge, I think it'd just be quartered. Okie dokie, yeah. so... So well, it's it. half on a success, mm -hmm. so for Uncane Dodge, yeah, I think it'd be half Quartered. twice. Yeah. So what is that, like seven damage That's or something? That's six. Or, six. no, 15 divided by two is seven. Yes, sorry. Yeah. 7.5. I can do math. Quick uh, math, <laughs> Brett. All right. Quick math. All right. Two plus two is four. If, while they're pushed 20 feet away, they don't run into any objects, do they, right? No, but they are now all right next to uh, Captain. And Dang. prone. Yep. They're they're all yeah, prone, they are though. prone. Except for the one. So, yeah, so, you know, you, there's something good going for you. Wait, how are they pushed towards Captain if Because they Captain were 20 was away. down the stairs. They were in, uh, above yeah. him on the stairs. 
chasing him because they were very slow. All right, so they're all in stabbable range. Uh, yeah. Let me. So I did that. Let's uh, bonus action. I'll do bardic inspiration for Captain because he might need it. How are you inspiring Captain? I'm going to look at don't him. Die, don't die! Don't and, die! Don't die! And I'll like brandish the rapier out of my hand and be like, "You've got this." <laughs> no, he doesn't. Captain, They're all prone. If he messes this up, then that's on him. Remember that inspiration for later. All right. As this happens, Ven, please let me know if this hits you. Oh, oh I don't have to God. roll dice for this. As a oh, something, gosh. a creature comes running out of the door. Does a nine hit you? No. Thankfully, as the creature manages to miss you, uh, avoid it, or you manage to avoid it, uh, smacking straight into you. It's going to use... That's all that's going to do. Cyrus, you're up. Now there's a green dragon wormling standing beside you and trying to chew on Ven. Okay. I love um, Ven. Does it look like I could place a 20 sphere without hitting a captain to dump a fireball on these hags? Uh, no. Uh, no, no, you, no. To hit the majority of the hags, you're going to have to drop it just straight on him. Yeah. Okay. He's like at the center of the cone. Do it. That's Closer. what I figured. Although, Captain, you get the feeling Captain's pretty strong and could probably take a fireball to the face if Yeah, and they're all knocked prone, so this would be the best time to do it. The X that's dis on their And you have my bardic inspiration, Captain, of 1d8. That's so totally you, you remember how you still owe him gold for the travel over here. Yeah. Um... It's about to be a medical build, too. <laughs> no, because you got a healer here. We have I'm healer. gonna go ahead and do it. These are a lot of hags. Right. Go ahead. That's fine. So, <laughs> dex 15. Please, Captain, make a dex save. Does I wonder if I'll succeed. You? I hope you do, buddy. I hope you do. Let me uh, go ahead and roll for the uh, monster for the hags. What's All... the save? Fifteen decks. Oh, Which I just is barely. The same as mine was. <laughs> and you have the one d8 if you needed it. Okay, well, I I did a fifteen just on my natural roll. And, uh, it, because they're prone, would they all have disadvantage? Uh, one sec. I've got something's important, so it's going on. Give me moment, two moments, guys. Ah, uh, okay. Uh... That's fine. The one attack I've done that's been very successful. And Captain, if you have evasion, it'll take you'll take none. I think I have evasion. Yeah. Check your features. I'm uh, looking. Features and traits. So, and hopefully, if even if they have their turn next after the fireball, yeah. they'll still have to take all their movement to get up from being prone. So you should have enough time to put distance. I so do have a base. Alright, so the Dusk Hag will have to reroll because she is not prone, so she's at disadvantage, and I think a 17 succeeds, so let me make sure. Okay, that one didn't succeed. Uh, I believe the only one who didn't who succeed, who isn't knocked prone, was the Green Hag, which I rolled just because, so. Because uh, they'll hit with damage. Alright, so none of them succeed. Okay, uh, 32 yes. points. 32 okay, points. I take no damage since I have evasion, and that is a deck saving throw. All right, nice job. Okay, and none of them... Oh, they are resistant to fire. That's good. Or some of them are. Uh, half of 32 is 16, I believe. Correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. I can do math today. I knew it. All right, uh, let's see. Green hags are not, so that's unfortunate. Um... <laughs> Bertha, you need to get out of the kitchen. Grass You're never going to run out of fire. Fire's good against the grass type. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. That's exactly it. Um, Have you ever tried to suplex a bird? No. No. That's why fighting As types are effective Hag against slime type. Burns up in the fireball, completely dang decimated. Yes. <laughs> All right, Cyrus. Is there anything else you would like to do? Another fireball. <laughs> fireball. That, that I recommend because you've actually. I mean, the hags are looking pretty beat up right now. And okay. Captain still has a 1d8 bardic inspiration. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try one more, because I'm not going to move then, so I can use a second. Yep. Oh, shoot, I forgot about that. <laughs> Captain, Captain, you're on fire tonight, man. 
<laughs> so another another Dex 15, Captain. <laughs> it's a burning Time for ring all the of fire. Hags. <laughs> all right, let's Start. uh. Fail. Yep. Fail. Ooh, well that Pass. one has to roll, that one has to roll dust... some time. Yep. And still passes. Ah, uh, still Fail. succeeds. Oh, Stupid pass. dust hag. Thank Fail. God. Thank God. Fail. For your 1d8. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is why bards are important. DMR. Roll the five. Well, yeah, go ahead and roll the damage. Plus four, that's nine, and then uh, with the thirty-four. Sixteen. Wait, so how many? Eight. How high did you get in the one d eight? Shush. Uh, on the one d eight, I rolled a five. Uh, Cyrus. Okay. So it's thirty-four um, fire damage. Yep, thirty-four okay. fire damage on the dust keg that succeeded. I'll do one more chronal shift as a reaction. <laughs> um, oh, but you do have to take this one. So I have to re-roll for the dust hag. Okay. <laughs> you, know, you know the managed sucky thing is, fly. even at half health or even at half damage, you still manage to kill it as the dust hag burns up. Yeah. <laughs> so as well as the, uh. the bear hag and the anis hag seem to all burn up all around, Captain. Captain, you finally you suddenly find yourself surrounded by very smelly dust. Uh, and two hags left. Standing. And I just brush my shoulders. <laughs> Is it my turn yet? <laughs> nope, not yet. Uh, Cyrus, I take it that you're done there. Um, Captain hears in his head, which I've never used this ability with him. Sorry, in my voice. Ooh. Um, I just gesture my hands towards him, like it's okay. I get it. All right. And with that, thumbs um, up all around. Captain does a eight hit. An eight? Yes. No, my AC is fifteen. As the abyssal <laughs> chicken tries to bite at your feet, running up to you and chomping lightly, it manages to dodge and breaks a tooth on the floor on the stair. It looks wounded. It begins you to look. You can tame it. It looks annoyed. Alright. Oh, it gets a second attack. Throw a dagger at it as a reaction. Does a 19 hit? Oh, you get to throw a dagger at it in reaction? Feel free. Yeah. Um, let's see. Does a 16 hit? A 16 hits, sadly, for the poor abyssal chicken. <laughs> if it All dies, right. we have rations. If it lives, we have a pet. Let's see. 1d4 plus 4. I rolled a 4, so that does 8 damage. It looks bloodied as it's coughing up blood, and it makes a claw attack on you of a 19. Does that hit? Um, yeah. So you take seven slashing damage as the chicken manages to make pay, give payback to you. Lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm at 56. Okay, Ben, you're up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be very nice. Bonus action first thing is a level is am I going to be shield of faith onto the captain. Okay. So he starts glowing. With oh. A shield and then secondly I'm going to you know just take and hold a hand up and cast a guiding bolt at the hag one of the standing hags. Okay, the green so, hat looks ex extremely bad. The night hat looks a little bit better and looks like it's going to just screw Captain. Night okay. I had 21 to hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, clear that so I can actually roll the damage, please. Right, 46. my dice is cluttered with dice. <laughs> huh, what was it? Uh, 13 damage in the next attack on it has advantage. Okay. So I'm, and if it's still up, I'm throwing another one right at it at it a higher level up. at level two. Okay. So as level bolts two of, advantage. Bolts of light are just sticking out of the creature. It looks very shocked as it's still laying down on the ground and wondering what the hell just happened. <laughs> Rejected potential okay. happened. 22 to hit. <laughs> that hits. Okay, that's a 5d6. Mm -hmm. Chihuahua's back. She has returned. 20. Oh no. As the night hag just explodes from the uh, smacking of the bolts, finally turning to dust beside Captain. Captain, you get the smell of burning radiance. 
It is the both stand holy. Out here because goddamn, this is a lot of dust. <laughs> the green hag <laughs> is should have just let you go. I look um, at the I look at the green hag and I say, Bertha, you might want to run. Should have just let the poor man go. End of turn. All right, Captain, you're up, buddy. There's a green hag within reach of you, and she looks really screwed up. Everybody, get on the floor. How far away is this hag from me? She's within five feet of you. Okay. She's not in front, though. I wonder if I can do this. Oh no! What are you gonna do? <laughs> Bugs Bunny! Bugs Bunny! Hide behind her and stab her in the neck. No, that's Ruth Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Bugs Bunny is taking her weapon and bending it in an unnatural way, so what damages her? I can do that. All right. I want to turn my sword around. Uh huh. And basically throw a javelin style at her. <laughs> okay. Rolled attack. Um. With improvised weapons. So. <laughs> God damn it. No, right. no. No proficiency. Yeah. No proficiency. Should I take a picture of this nat twenty? Oh my god. <laughs> Roll to, Roll to confirm. See if you confirm. You have to confirm. Wait, what? No, if you roll 20. two, so if you roll two nat twenties in a row, it's automatic death to the creature you're attacking. If you just okay. roll one, it's a uh, double damage. Uh, the second roll was just a fifteen. Okay. Ah. Uh. Go ahead and roll damage. Double the dice rolls. Okie dokie. <laughs> What is with you getting nat 20s? What is with you guys? just got the luck of the devil today. Oh, don't worry. I swear to God, it's this dice roller I have. It's awesome. Um, Is it a dice tower or a dice roller? It's a dice tower. Don't worry, you'll be dead soon. Go ahead, Captain. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> we'll live. Trust me. Um, We're like cockroaches. Double damage, that's 22. With one HP, the hag, go, the sword <laughs> spears through the hag, driving it straight into the, uh, the stairs, slamming it down, green blood spewing from its mouth. It looks up I in look utter at, shock. I looked at, I look at Bertha and said, and look at, and just simply say, I told you to run, Bertha. Couldn't you? The, with her last dying breath, you see the middle finger of the green hag go up in the general direction of Ven. <laughs> Alright, Captain, is there anything else you would like to do? Uh, I would like to go to Bertha and retrieve my wait, wait. sword. You still have the abyssal chicken on you. You do. It will get an attack. Yeah, and there's the little green wormling, isn't there? That's an AOO no, the green wormling is on Ven. Yeah, it's on me. I'm not worried about it. He, he, I, I, you know what? I dropped his eye as grandfather. He can eat that. So, yes, Good. if you do move, Captain, you're going to take an attack of opportunity from the Abyssal Chicken. Okay. Um, the the only weapon first. I have left is one dagger. Mm-hmm. Stab uh, it. Stab you the have chicken. the shards of your cutlass. Just throw the shards at it. The sword no. shards. <laughs> no, I need to repair that sword. It means a lot to me. <laughs> um, I'm going to stab the chicken. Okay. Roll to hit. So cold the chicken. Uh, and then the hit is... <laughs> it does a 12 hit. As you stab down at the chicken, you manage to miss as it dodges nimbly out of your way. Shit. Uh -huh. Should have kicked the chicken. <laughs> the chicken laughs at you. Strangle Joke the chicken. Choke it. No. Choke it. No. Choke the chicken. <laughs> All right, Captain. I assume there's nothing else you can do. Um, no, that's that's the end of my turn. All right, as please Ven, can someone retrieve my sword? As Ven, Zaya, and Cyrus are all paying attention to the chicken beating the crap out of Captain. Hey, it just dodged. It just beat me up. A secondary green dragon wormling comes out to attack Zaya. Oh boy. Zaya, be prepared. Are you ready? And this is actually going to be a 15 cone radius, so this is going to include Cyrus and Ven in this attack. Please, oh give boy. me a constitution saving throw. Well, uh -huh. if it's... What's the damage it'll do? 21 points. Uh, blah, blah, the type is poison? Correct. Okay, then I am... 23. Uh, resistant to poison damage. All right. So you need a con save or a con save. Okay. 
All right. All right. Well, so I, Zaya, good thing I'm resistant. Zaya, you take tw uh, that's ten points of damage. Uh, Cyrus, the full twenty-one, and as well, Ven, you are also taking ten. Okay, uh, so that's with 18. the resistance. Oh, right? sorry. Yes, Cyrus. My apologies. Eighteen. I misread. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so yes, you're fine with the ten. Okay. And yes, ten, 10 is with uh, resistance, Zaya. Okay. Oh, so how much? I I took half, so I'm still yeah, ten, right? Yeah, still ten. All right, as the uh, hags are dead and I no longer have to use them, um, at that same time, you notice, looking up, uh, s go ahead and give me a perception check, Captain, as you're the only one looking at the castle currently. Oh, no. Uh, and my perception... Uh, is it passive perception or just uh, regular? Whichever's higher. If you roll lower than your passive, then use your passive. Okay, um... And total, that will be 16. All right, with a 16, as you look up, you can see at the top of the tower where the roof had melted, there is two very large claws holding on. And as you follow the claws up, you see a very large head, probably the size of a building, staring down at you. Oh, no, dragon, it's the mother. Dragon, dragon, dragon. As it looks mother. down and breathes a heavy poison breath. Oh, no. Everyone, give me another constant. Oh wait, wrong character. Sorry, don't use that roll. Don't worry. There we go. Now we use oh, that. Oh, it's only DC. Oh, All right, no. con twenty. Yes, everyone, give me a Constitution saving throw, including Captain. I match it. Twenty-two. Please. You still. Please. You'll save on that. <gasps> My nat twenty, and I still fail. All wait, right. hang on. No way. I should get a plus two to con. Is it a con saving throw? That's. Yeah, it's the character saving sheet. throw. I don't think I'm updated. So it should be 22, exactly. Uh, let me look. I there. failed. That's not good. <laughs> let me, uh, give me a moment. Uh, let me just make sure of Zaya's character sheet. Just Check my character sheet. Yeah, I haven't updated in a while. I'm just confirming it now. Oh, my stream's lagging because I'm opening. Oh no, D and D Beyond is loading slowly. There we go. I can send uh, you a screenshot. You have a plus two, yes. So it would have been a twenty-two. Yeah, so it should be twenty-two. I just save with a net twenty. So you 20. still take half damage. Uh, so half of half again. eighty-one, and then yeah, yours is quarter. Half of what? Eighty-one. So that's half forty again. points of damage for those who uh, succeeded the save. Um, to have that again, that's 20 points of poison damage to you, Zaya. To those who and failed... And I am almost dead. That is 81 points of poison damage as the dragon stares down at you. Oh, well, wonderful. Uh, Cyrus, what, what was that? Isn't that insta-death? No. It's more than your max points. I, I, yeah, I don't run that because I have too many players... Or I honestly have killed so many players that way. Um, no, you still get a chance to revive. However, as everyone minus Zaya, I assume. Ven, are you also down? No, I'm... You're still up? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, as Ven and Zaya are the only two up, you just watch as Cyrus and Captain drop. Yeah, Zaya, your mic I cut on. out. There, Sorry, there what'd go. you say? I said as Ven... All right, Ven... I have dropped. Can I? You know, Ven, fuck off. All right, as Ven looks on, or as Ven Zai look on, Captain and Cyrus just start choking on the gas and drop to the ground unconscious. Oh, gosh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Not good. That is Had correct. to disrupt the hack. <laughs> All right, are we still in initiative order? Yeah, you're still in initiative, so moving on. As you look up, continuing a second green adult dragon, a little smaller than the one you just saw, is look is comes flying over, <laughs> and stands on just drops and stands on top of Captain's corpse. Not like putting pressure on him, but just looks at you a lot. And waits. Uh, does okay. So it's just kind of standing there. It is. Do we, uh... I don't know Draconic, but I'm just going to say in common, I have brought an offering of a dead, of a body. It and I is... pointed the old man on my back. Yep, sacrifice my grandfather. It looks at you for a moment. 
contemplates and says, The great god emperor Sabel has ordered you to leave or be killed. We need to go to the catacombs to retrieve an item that I left there a long time ago. Can I do that? We will kill you as the great god emperor has declared all who are not serving him shall die. Sabelle, do Can I, I recognize the name? Go there? Zaya, go ahead and roll to see a history check. Yeah, and I don't think, you know, they're going to agree with you then. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, yep. Another nat 20. What the heck? <laughs> there has never been any record in your world of a of dragon or of an ancient green dragon. Whoa, so gonna... it's probably from the other. Wait, you said my necklace tingled when the hag should like were there, right? Yeah. Did, uh, when the they were talking it. to me about the god of mischief that my necklace represents, did they say that? Say what? The necklace of, that I have that's a god from the other world, mm -hmm. is the name of it Sabelle? No. No, okay. That uh, was narrow. Oh, narrow. We can help you. There's, I'm sure, pests in the city you could see. The Rakshasa. Uh, we count if you allow us. It looks on to you for a moment, contemplates the situation, starts to speak in Draconic towards the other dragon. The larger one up there, as they start to argue back and forth, and they look to you and say, or the the adult standing by Captain's corpse looks to you and says, "We have a mission for you that the great God Emperor Sabel has deemed worthy of you." Of course. You must kill the one known as Snicknesh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm fine with this. And where sh can we find this Snicknesh? Last he was seen was in a destroyed hut with an old man. Was it this old man? I pointed the one on my back. I do not know, for I did not see it. I just that is what my great god emperor states. If you and wish will... to be allowed into the catacombs, this is what you must do. Then we shall do it. Are we allowed to revive our party members to help us on this quest? Yes, for this one reeks of death, and the other one I just don't want to deal with. And he gets a flies away. Thank you, and alright, I'll rush Wait, over to kill Wait, before you go, take down. this dead body. Take this old man, he makes a great snack, I promise. Be don't gone, miss. mortal! Yes, uh, where's my healing spells? And with that, I'm they going fly... To spend, the oh. ten minutes, spend ten minutes real quick, mm -hmm. as they fly away, to cast Prayer of Healing. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. So you heal them, and then I'll heal up whatever needs left. Oh yeah, and also if you could heal me. For, this is for everybody in the within range. So. Okay. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. The hag oh, starts standing back up. No. no there's and dust. This is for I thought. Six creatures in range. So. Does it say friendly creatures? Six creature up to six creatures. I choose. Oh. I'm choosing okay. my allies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Don't thanks. Don't dare start that. Alright, as Captain and Cyrus, as you awaken once more, hearing Ven pray over you, things can be heard. The okay, guys, let's catch you up. The the, the green dragon, Sabelle, is a god emperor now, and in order to get in the catacombs and not die, we need to kill uh, someone by the name of Snicknesh, and, and quickly... Or we have to kill a dragon god. Where we found my grandfather, there's a polymorph spell that might be a good place to start looking. First, I'm going to look around and see if any wormlings are about. Okay. Wormlings? How no, are you they, guys they retreated do... in. I, I'm going to oh, set, yeah. set Zaya's grandfather by the door and yell in, If the wormlings are hungry, they can eat this guy. Let's go. I, okay, I'm trying to yeah, get we're... Captain and Cyrus to walk with me. Are, how are your health? How are you guys' health? Oh, yeah. 21, 21, right? Yeah, 21. Okay, so you guys could probably both use good healing. Yes, I have boo -boo. They could use a fucking nap at this point. Your choice. I you need some three? milk. Higher, higher. Okay, I'll do a fourth level healing word on Captain. Because uh, okay. he's was beat up by all the decks. Um, 
Yeah, I'm at about a third health right now. But I can do a second wind. Okay. <laughs> that second wind is the all best saver. <laughs> Give, gives me a little. <laughs> Better than nothing. Yeah. Uh, as you look uh... off, uh, or is looking about, and the sun is starting to set, time is at, uh, coming to an end for the day. The party go, heals Captain. up. The wormlings have gone to cooing. And the the hags have started to ignore you as you have been granted the request by the god emperor Sabel, and thus being left alone by his servants. That is where we will end tonight's session. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this absolute interest. Uh, we will see you next time on D and D.